Run out of coffee. Grab me a drink. I'm not grabbing you a drink. Quick one, please. Why would I do that? Well, I need one for the podcast. I need to be alive. 50, 50 quid and I'll go. 50 quid? <laughs> I'll do, I will do that. So not You're not going to actually give me 50 of quid. Of course though. I will. Come on, man. It's me. Shake on it. All right. Done. Oh. Done deal. This is crazy to see you actually do this. Feels like, feel, feels like I own you right now. A few moments later. Damn, that's not a, a coffee. That's not a coffee, but I'll take that. Fifty quid. I'll take that. I want fifty quid. I don't. I don't even. I don't even move. I don't even have fifty You're quid. You're not getting out. Of that. I don't have fifty. Give me one. He thinks I got fifty quid. Proddy, do I? I'm not the kind of guy that I just has fifty quid. You literally told me you give me fifty quid. The only thing in my wallet is Sri Lankan money. You know what? I've been finessed by you so many times. I actually caught you this time. You're finished. Look at this. Oh, I sound like that. Drink. I'm not grabbing you a drink. Quick one. Please. How would I do that? Listen, well, I wait need for one it. for the podcast. I need to be alive. 50, 50 quid and I'll go. 50 quid? <laughs> I'll do, I will do that. So no You're wait. not going to actually That's give me right. Listen. That's right. Listen. Me. Shake on it. Alright. That's someone else. Shake, you, bro, you shook on it. That's someone else. That's not even me. That's AI. Uh, That's reclip, bro. Probably, you got reclipped. From that. There shouldn't be a lot. You got reclipped. No. <sighs> Damn. 50 quid. I don't even have 50 quid. <laughs> I tell you what. Fuck. You got me. You know what? A deal is a deal. I'm going to... Bank transfer. Do you take Monzo Express? <laughs> I'll take bank transfer. I can do bank transfer. All right, guys. I'm not even joking. If you want to use and, and finesse and to make sure that your friends are actually going to pay up and all other things, then you got to try Reclip, right? It saves things after they happen. So you get all those moments that you wish you had recorded. What you do is you leave it running in the background and you can clip the last two minutes of audio um, of literally anything that happens. Um, and what Reclip does, it turns it into a bit of content for you. And even just there, it adds like the subtitles and all, all that sort of stuff for you. So it's super, super handy. Not only that, but um, it means that it's really good for using on social media as well um, because it's literally capturing real life stuff that happens. Um, so instead of an app that's very staged or filmed or whatever, um, this is very raw and real. Look, but you know, I take my privacy. But I'm, a, I'm a private man. So is that... Is it always recording me if I leave that on? It, it is always recording you, but it is never actually saved anywhere unless you press save. And even then, once that happens, it's put on a secure server. Okay. So you're all good. And if you're worried about battery as well, mm. it won't drain your battery. You can leave it on and you never have to choose between saving the moment or the clip that you're after or saving your battery. That's good because totally. right now, like, I literally got 2%. So I have never got battery. I like to live on the edge though. Okay, but how do I know when reclip is on when it's activated? So you see it at see at the top of your phone, there's always like a little um shining colored light. Usually it's either orange or red, and that's how you know if it's uh if it's a recording in the background. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I've been uh you you you're one of many people that I've got with this app. So consider you you know, don't feel too bad that I've caught you red handed. I've been no, having a lot I've been having a lot of fun with it and you have just been another one of I'm the people. No, 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 no. You're not. You are you're being held accountable. And I hope that uh, now more people that use this app can uh, make sure their friends pay them the money that they owe. I will I will Yeah. I will pay. This is a lesson learned. You'll be caught red headed on camera. It actually is. Of course, if you want to download the app, then you can just type in reclip on the app store. It's gonna be there, or just head to www.reclip.app and grab it there. Enjoy. And of course, big up to them for sponsoring today's episode. It's a good one. Welcome to another fellas podcast episode as I attempt not to scream in the intro. Yeah. I'm learning. You're getting there, buddy. You're getting there. Welcome back, guys. Today yeah. is a pleasant episode. It's a really nice episode with really nice weather. Yeah, we're going to keep it PG rated. Oh, it is lovely weather. It's beer weather outside. Um, that's all I can think about. There's two words that pop into my head. Mm. Beer and what rhymes with beer? Oh, I thought you were going to say. Uh, <laughs> what rhymes with beer? Hey, uh, gear. What? No. what? Yeah. What? It's beer garden time, bro. What are you talking about? No, I just got. Anyways, I have somebody that um, loves I gear. Don't, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if he was ever on gear. I think he's quite a straight shooting man. We'll, 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 we'll ask him when he comes out. It is none other than Joe Sugg. Yeah. Woo 
Damn. Wow. I haven't seen you in a minute. I know. I've been gone for a while. Such a well-dressed man. You are very well-dressed, aren't you? You um, you give me like One Direction vibe straight off the bat. Still. Yeah. Still. Still. <laughs> still. 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 That's kind of how we started in a way, isn't it? We just sort of... Just like the most B-Tech <laughs> version. Do you remember we used to go to the um that club in London and the One Direction fella was there? Which are... Oh. Um, uh, um, ba- was it Bam Buddha? Is that a place? Funky Buddha. That's, that's Funky Buddha. Oh. Funky Buddha. And what was the? Which one was it? It was Liam Payne, but that's I wasn't it. there. I don't think. I didn't. Think I was there. there that time. Now, nah, but we used to always go out. And <laughs> why? What happened? I'm certain you were there at one of the times. They but... had those big, massive bottles of Belvedere vodka. But it was mixed uh-huh. with like lychee juice. Do you remember? Yes. And it gave you the most outrageous hangovers the next day those were the uh times. The, the better times man <laughs> the better times anyways um so you uh when you entered you revealed yourself as uh, as a fellas fan we've never met one yeah. before you said time. you've really? never missed an episode i've never missed scenes I, I live out of london now so i'm down near brighton so mm-hmm. i get the train a lot yeah so i have to listen to something <laughs> <laughs> and i've so listened to there. every other like, podcast I, like, I, know, I know those guys yeah so no i'm a big fan big fan oh no it's Aww. amazing thank you for coming on man. i had to check that i wasn't the episode after hardest geezer yeah. i thought you can't go from like hardest geezer to the guy who cut his finger on bake off and fainted yeah. oh I mean. my god <laughs> yeah. is that true have you not seen it not yes seen i have seen I didn't that i want to bring it up but we brought but it up. You <laughs> it up wait so are you do you have a thing with blood then <laughs> Uh, no, do, do you know what? Only until recently, I used to be. I used to like love like gory films back in the day, but now or them, or, 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 or them, uh, right them the uh, how can I say this right? It's like the terrorist videos, you know, where the oh no no no, like I, the really I, dark. I, shows. I saw one Live on leak. that was remember it. like on Facebook back in the day. They just just pop up on yeah. your your feed. Remember seeing like a a video that was that wasn't meant to be there, and it I reckon it scarred me for life. Yeah, yeah, they damage. are a bit nuts, aren't they? Yeah, I do think they're quite character building. Oh wait, you you, you got up the clip here. So what? <laughs> you have a little thing here, and then what? You just you just bowl over, do you? It was a you know, to put it into context. Yeah, context is everything, right? Yeah. Uh, it was I was running on fumes at that point. I was Mongolba. doing I was doing like West End. I was doing the Strictly Christmas special. There I go, look. Go on. <laughs> it's went down like oh my a God. stroke. <laughs> and that was at like seven in the morning. So it's like a 4.30 a.m. call time. <laughs> <laughs> no! The way my legs are. That's how you know it's real. No. It out like that. <laughs> no, the James Blunt reaction was yeah. quality. Yeah. As well. Oh my God. You look so fucking funny on the floor there. Yeah, yeah. I'm pale. Oh, and I'm yeah. well. But do you know what? Every now and then, my phone <laughs> starts <laughs> going off. And I think, God, we're, we're getting our comeback. It's, it's finally happening. <laughs> and it's not. It's because um, the meme page, pages have picked up on it. And so it's like, you know, we're like when you have your first beer after lockdown, it's just like, and it's a picture of me on the floor like that. <laughs> <laughs> Every That's now and then so I'm like, oh, yeah, let's go back. And it's like, no. <laughs> yeah. well, I can't believe I've never seen that. That's made I've day. definitely seen, seen that a few times for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, me and you, people, a lot of people do know this, but me and Joe, we go way back. I'm talking, not maybe not yeah. quite as, I was never part of the, the original UK vlogger crew. The Brit crew. But I feel like the gamers <laughs> and the vloggers merged at one point we did yeah yeah we were we were um we were all in a group chat at one point remember? yeah yeah until calyx got hacked yes and do you remember that i do remember that and then everything <laughs> got leaked oh <laughs> yeah it's not juicy i didn't know about this <sighs> calyx essentially calyx's world got turned <laughs> upside down oh, like i'm talking they had access to his bank account like Ooh. literally everything and then all of his whatsapps ha- how yeah. does that even happen though? I'm not they, gonna I'm not gonna step by step yeah. it for you, mate, but no. it happened. There's no, a way to bad. do it, but they yeah. But uh, if it was gonna happen to anybody, it was gonna be yeah. him, I think. He was he he runs in some shady circles. Yeah. But no, we yeah. do go way back. Yeah, and what one of the one of the big things that always pops up when, when I think of stuff that we used to get up to, it was nights out in London. Yeah. Um, but more importantly was a particular LA trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that for me, um, was actually the birth of like that was when I very first started vlogging. Yeah. And so I have some vlog <laughs> videos up of our trip out there and, and that was you, me, Ollie White, yeah, Joe Weller, ah, was Will Derbyshire, Will Derbyshire, yeah, um, he's getting married, yeah, that's a pretty crazy one yeah. as well. Times are changing, mm. and was Casper there? No, no, Casper he wasn't. wasn't. There. Yeah, it's me, you, Ollie, Joe Weller, Will Derbyshire. I think that was it. Yeah, but it was. Uh, we, do you know? What? I watched it on the way here. Just a few vlogs just to, to reminisce on old times. Yeah. We look quite different. 
Yeah, we yeah, do. We did. Yeah. Did that different. do well, that, that kind of... Yeah, it did. Yeah. My, my, vlog my, vlog, thing you did. my vlog's banged. Did you do yeah. one or one every day? What was the thing? There's probably like five of them up there, maybe. We you know what, as well? When you guys yeah. were there on that trip, I was there. But I really? just didn't know you like that. No, you came and met up with me. Oh, I remember this, actually. Oh we God. went on, like, this weird out. shit night. Like, it was, like, this club... We bought a table there, but it was just fucking knackered. It was almost like a lounge, in fact. And it yeah. was shit. Do you remember? I do remember that. I can't remember Close what else two. happened, but yeah. So who were you yeah. with? I was with... Gonth. Gonth. Ali. Max. Plays FIFA. Irish guy. Um, was it like E3 or something? No, no we'd no, just no. gone there for like a holiday. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit mental though. We were fucking just throwing parties in this guy's gaff and shit when we shouldn't have been. It was. I feel like that's sort of like what we were doing. Was, probably was a similar vibe. Yeah. Just, you know, young guys out in LA yeah. doing the fake ID thing. I see uh, a lot of people from... that comment on a TikTok recently of like, <laughs> someone did a TikTok of like us out there and someone wrote like, oh, that, that time is like, you know, when the, that whole Roman Empire thing was about. Yes. They were like, that era where all these guys were going to LA and uh -huh. that LA house, that was like my Roman Empire. Uh-huh. Like, I, I mean, I, I remember, so we obviously have that Never Have I Ever video, which by the way, I think is like my third most viewed ever video. It's on like sure, eight, fourth, yeah. well, it's like eight million odd views, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's genuinely just us two, Ollie and Joe, I think, yeah, yeah. just sat at the end of a bed. Yeah. Just like this the most <laughs> like I don't even know a word to describe it, but it I just sums up like that. YouTube at that it time. It was just a different time, wasn't it? Yeah. When I look at YouTube now, I just I go, ah, that's it's a lot of effort. Oh. A lot of effort. When I see let the videos me, that you guys you do. See this? Eight eight almost nine million views. It's one camera. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's them. shot with just normal fucking lighting in there. Eight point eight million views probably earned me something like 30 grand, right? And I had to put in zero pounds for it. Well, you had to pay Ollie, didn't you? I Ollie, know, yeah, Ollie, yeah, Ollie he charged. demanded that. Yeah, he demanded that. <laughs> Wait, um, what was that? And a puff of my uh, CBD vape oil. Um, nah, he did, oh. he did. But we just, There's we played. Zero, Prime Joe Weller there as zero well. Zero budget, just. Just straight. I mean, yeah. this was it, man. This was so funny. And God. eight mil as well. It's got double my <laughs> most viewed. And Different time. Another another video that was very iconic that came out of this. And we've spoken about this on the podcast before, but it was the prank that you played on me. I now, saw to it, this yeah. day, this is, this is probably the best prank that's ever been played on me. Do you reckon? And I remember at the time um, thinking or like trying to play it off really cool. Like, oh, that didn't even bother me. Yeah. I swear to God, I was shitting myself. Really? This whole thing. And it's called, it, it's on your channel. What it's the this? 11 million views. Yeah, I know. What? That's oh, the thing. Hashtag Sug Sunday. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. It was, a, it was Sug Sunday. Do you remember? <laughs> Let's go. So you were on it before the side men were on a, a Sunday right. upload. Yeah. This was the original right, think Sunday. Like, yeah. The original Sunday. <laughs> and, oh my God. And this one was, so, you were sent, I guess, I had rocked up. You were already in LA. You we were already there, yeah. Is this, oh, this is the day you arrived? Yeah. That's a sweet jacket. I uh, know, bro. Check the, oh, the clobber <laughs> the was The sleeves nuts. rolled. The clobber. <laughs> this is the clobber you were wearing. That this is, yeah. man. Yeah. This there was your was, best fit at the time. This was. This was my best fit. You'd I, wear that going out as well. Oh, of course, man. Of course. Anyway. The bathing ape. Yeah, bathing you, ape. you said to me, oh, there's like a, a weird thing. Like, that we've been hearing some okay. weird noises. Yeah. And I was there like, what do you mean by that? Like, that, I'm not fucking with that at all. But I managed to get like the piano playing and it was like a proper, that's the thing. I just, I feel like, I wonder if you made that video now, like what would you change now? I, mate, it's a great Shit, video. What would you change? I've not seen the video, but- Is the title, does it's, the title need the, changing? <laughs> I mean, no. you, would, you wouldn't like, today you wouldn't upload a video with that title would you but no. I, but it still could do well i don't know these days it's so overproduced that sometimes these videos are breath of fresh air though where yeah. it's just like you and the camera the boys you've you've cut it up in maybe 20 minutes yeah there's no over you know yeah. overdoing it if i guess it, it felt raw. more like yeah vlog like more <laughs> homemade vlog which yeah. in a way well, that's what YouTube's turning back into now. A little, it's, it's yes. coming full circle a little it bit. It is. Yeah, you're back. You've got you a job, mate. Back back. <laughs> you could <laughs> be back up. Coming back. <laughs> yeah, no, I still like the vlog. I still do vlog, like every now and then. But I do, I've seen them. I still, I still enjoy it. I still, I still do bits. But yeah, it's just. Do what is it? What is it that you do now? Explain to people because yeah. I'm so, I'm a little bit curious. I know you've got your your business side of things, yeah. and we'll talk about that in a bit. But what does a day in the life of Sug look like at well, the minute? I can remember a time where the Sug Sundays I could tell were starting to get a bit stale, and I was like a bit sort of like, ah, what am I going to do this week? I need to sort of 
either adapt and change with it or figure out something else. And that's when I decided to do Strictly, mm. the TV show. I thought, do you know what? Okay, I'm going to give it a go. And then I just sort of went down this sort of TV route um, and still, still I'm sort of going down that route, but still do bits of YouTube. But we also, me and Casper started a management company called MVE. And I think a few of our clients have actually been on mm-hmm. this show. Um, Shout out George Clark. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, George Clark. Um, so we- Emily Brogan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we're, um, so doing that, uh, we've, we've got a an office in America now in LA. Fucking hell, that's the um, real fucking deal. Yeah, so we've sort of ventured yeah. stateside. Uh, which, and so that's all doing really, really well and takes up a lot of our time. Um, and I started a production company as well. I saw that very recently. Yeah. So is that re- that is kind of recent, that's right? Quite, yeah, quite yeah. recent. I've been doing it for like a year. Yeah. But um, I think from doing Strictly and, and especially when me and Casper did that, Joe and Casper hit the road. I remember that. That left yeah. square, that whole yeah. thing. I, I loved the... You wouldn't know it from watching that video then, but I love like the behind the scenes and like the grading and like the sound and, and the edit and being involved in the edit and knowing what to keep and what not to keep and stuff. I really enjoyed that. Did so, that go on Netflix? It did for a bit, yeah. I think I remember seeing wild, it on man. there. I I swear. Did That's you ever Netflix thing. and chill to it? That's the I, question. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, we, 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 <laughs> we were poor. Well, well, yeah. 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 <laughs> Just Joel on the screen behind me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so, so and then... Right now, is it a lot of your time spent with the the management company side of things? Because I know on your vlogs that like, you seem to just be fucking knocking about. Yeah, just yeah, that like um, still like a, a lot of stuff that I'm sort of it's that it's that age old like YouTube response of like things that I'm working on, but That's it, yeah, taking time. I think a lot of the stuff like with with the management company and the production company, they're like, I mean, you guys will know this, like long burner things. Like you're not going to yeah. see a return on it straight away. No, but it's like the idea it, of a bigger well. business and things like that. So. That um, I've moved out of London now, so I'm not sort of in the mix. When of did it. you make that move? That was a while ago, though. It was it? during during just before the third lockdown. <laughs> Fuck so, three. Just oh, oh yeah, that, yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly three that. lockdowns. Yeah, yeah. it all merged into one. one. Damn man, which I've for everyone I think was the worst the one, but. Uh-huh. It, but I'd moved, so I was quite. I was like, I was fine because I was just doing up. You bought a, a pretty big gaff out there, or one oh. with quite a bit of land. Uh, I did. I've moved now. I've oh, moved again. yeah. Okay. Because we were gonna, we were gonna. Um, renovate and do all these bits to it. But then we thought time-wise, it's going to take at least two years to do what we want to do to it. Yep. yep. And we just thought, and then there's another one for sale, like quite close by. And we thought, I oh, don't you know what, let's just go for that. It saves us time. And it was everything. It was already what you yeah, wanted anyway. Done. Okay. Did, you, did you get absolutely battered on stamp duty? Yeah. Yeah. Because so. that absolutely yeah, yeah. fingers you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's why I stay renting. <laughs> yeah. That's why I duty. prefer to owe put people money. <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah. I like to be in debt. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, that, that sounds, I, I want to talk a little bit about the Strictly stuff because I feel like this was the first time a YouTuber had successfully, sorry yeah, about this, Mick, Jack Maynard. Yeah. Mm. But his, his stint on celebrity was this before get me out of here. I swear was, was I Saffron think, Barker not on before. No, she was after. She afterwards. Was this she the was first one then? This was I was the first, first yeah. to do it. Yeah, you said successfully, I yeah. guess. <laughs> um, with Strictly. Yeah. Because I had anxiety when you said you were going on because I, I yeah. got flashbacks of what happened to our man Jack yeah, yeah, and yeah. the way he got torn to pieces. But luckily yeah. you hadn't called anyone the N-word on Twitter. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so that's... Uh, is that, that, what that, that helped. Is that what he'd done? And they got... I swear it wasn't. Nah, that. I, nah, it might have not been that, but you know F what I'm word. trying to say. It was. Yeah. He, he got oh, done well, for old tweets. Like, old yeah. tweets. You know yeah. that, that fucking winds me up in the first place. Like I was annoyed that. How old? But, but that's the how tweets? the mainstream works. It's like yeah. one little thing, mm. and Always you're finished. Looking to bring you down. The, but, yeah. um, I can remember they because when I was a kid, because on my series, um, do you remember Faye from Steps? Now you talking no, a different language right yeah, now, bro. Yeah, bro that, I know, I know steps, 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 but steps, there's no steps. chance I'll, I'm ever going to know. Is that a um, show? Tragedy. No. The uh, band. Yeah. Music band. You've How heard you of steps. steps. Well, I know that song. Tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when the... your mum's in bed with <laughs> Uncle Fred. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was just singing it in primary. you like, fuck, oh, fuck. off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she was in my series. Okay. And when I was a kid, um, I she was my favourite in the band. Um to and, say it, and yeah, so she was <laughs> my favorite in the band, and they and <laughs> you they struck uh, one out, bro. and 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 uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they did. I remember they ran a story saying that because we're on the same series. Like, oh, Joe's because they found a video from ages ago where it's a video of me and my sister recreating one of the dance routines from Steps. Yeah, and I was like, I remember I said like, I used to fancy Faye from Steps. So they brought that up and tried to make it out like it was a stri- already a strictly curse going on. 
between oh, me and Faye yeah. and things like that. So it's like that's so they they are kind of kind they're of they're on it. Yeah, you're safe in YouTube. I felt like. Yeah, we, I, I, I've had a couple of opportunities, not like strictly or anything yeah. like that, but to yeah. do TV show stuff. Yeah. And it's just a no for me. Yeah. yeah because right. all I'm saying, it takes them, I'd say 30 seconds into a fella's episode <laughs> and <laughs> I'm, I'm finished. Yeah. It's all in jest. I'm just playing a character. I feel like that's true. Like, uh, come on, if you, it's called the fucking fellas podcast. Like, it's gonna be a shit show, and it's gonna we're gonna say bad things. <laughs> but you know, we don't mean we don't mean we don't it. mean it. Guys. You know what? I've always said, if you don't mean it, you can say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like that philosophy. I like Look, that. as long as you ain't hurting anyone. I read a book recently where it was telling me about how, and I live by this, but it's hard to get it across to the people. Okay. It is, oh, it, this is how every bad story starts. It is, Come on. it is up to you to be offended or not. Yeah. That's your responsibility. If you are offended, it's, That's your, on you. it's on you. It's your fault. Like, I could say the craziest shit. Come on then. No, I'm joking. Don't, 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 don't. Let's not test it. No, we're not going to test it. But if someone gets offended, yeah. it's like, oh, that's your fault for being offended. You can, yeah. you don't need to care. Yeah. Like, it doesn't you, matter. You can't make somebody feel something. Mm. They feel it for themselves. That's they what decide. my girlfriend always tells me. That is that. going on my next Strava caption. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, so yeah, you got, you got scouted into Strictly. Yeah. And were yeah, you, because yeah. you know what, uh, as well, when you got announced, I literally said, I remember saying to the boys that like, he's going to win this thing. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, because you yeah, are no, such, uh, like you capture the mums of the world and they love you. Yeah. Yeah. They, you had this audience they do love of you. mums <laughs> slash 13 year old girls and that combo. Yeah. Deadly. Fucking crazy. Yeah, it was deadly. What, what was the moment like where you actually found out? Was it like a big buildup of like, oh, you might be going on, blah, blah, uh, blah. How did that work? I, they asked me if I was interested. And I said, look, I'll go along because at this point I was thinking about starting a production company. <laughs> so I was like, I actually want to go and meet the people that make the show. Yeah. Understand how TV works. So I said, look, I'll go along to to go and meet, meet them at a place called the Hamyard Hotel. Do you yeah. know that hotel? And so, yeah. so I went for a, a tea, afternoon tea with the producer and the t um, talent exec and they just sort of persuaded me in that meeting. Now I went in going like, I'm not going to do it, but I just want to know how the show works and get a bit of uh -huh. knowledge from them. And I ended up leaving going, shit, am I, gonna, am I actually going to do this? So I messaged everybody that I knew just sort of saying, what are your opinions? Do you think I should do it? And everyone pretty much said yes. But the one that mattered the most was the boys group chat, like all my mates from back home. And I said, look, I'm thinking about doing it. What do you reckon? And they said, oh, well, we'll like, we'll hundred percent take the piss out of you the whole time. Cause it'd be hilarious, mm. but you've got to do it. You've yeah. got, you've got to get in those sequins. So I thought, oh, do you know what? No one else has done it yet. And I, yeah. Especially at that time in my life of YouTube, I was like, I want to try something different. I still love YouTube, but I want to just yeah, spin that coin and see what, see what, see what happens. And, it was a great, it. It, yeah, it, it was, was very successful. Yeah, it worked out well, yeah. Did you enjoy it? The actual... I did. I Like looking back on it, is it actually an enjoyable experience? Because yeah. it looks like hell to me. It's long. It yeah. is, it's a long, you've, you've got to, if you want to get to the final, you genuinely have to like devote your all your time to it. Really? So I was doing, I couldn't dance. I, I don't really have rhythm at all. Yeah. I can hear music well, so I never went out of time. I can hear a beat, but I, I but I, um... I struck like I was having to do like 12 hour days rehearsal oh, yeah. and stuff like that. So a lot of people always go, um, Oh, like surely you were already, you know, you and Diane were already like getting on early doors. No, yeah. it's like, well, I was genuine. I think we knew there was like something there as week, the weeks went on, Yeah, but it was like, we just didn't have time for any, any of that. Like, Panky -panky. About, no, because I wanted, to, I wanted to get to that final and she's yeah. a professional dancer and she's like, for them, winning is like everything as well. Yeah. So, so yeah, how much do they actually care about they are the winning because it feels, it, it, you know, like almost like soccer aid. Yeah. How you get like the pro guys turning up and they're just there for a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do these professional dancers really give a shit here? They do. That, so it's like, I, I compare them to like sport, like football players because in a way they know they've got a certain amount of time they can dance before their bodies just can't do it anymore. Right. And I guess in a way, like Strictly is kind of like a mixture of like professional dancing, but also entertainment and like personality and stuff. Mm. So it's like, there's no platform for a dancer. I think that's like bigger than that. Really. Like, so this is like the World Cup. Yeah. It's essentially, yeah, yeah. Each year. So for them, like winning is... And, is and was there, is there a, a prize or something for winning? Is it or a cash it prize? Kind of just a glitter ball, yeah. There's a glitter, like you win a, a big trophy, but it's a big trophy when you win it 
on the TV. Yeah. Yep. But then they take it away and you get a much smaller version. Oh. Unless you do the tour. So we didn't win the show. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, but we uh, we won the tour afterwards. And you okay. get, because the tour is funded by a touring company mm -hmm. rather than the BBC, you get the big, you get a big trophy. So we've got two of these. So the BBC are just a set of tight bastards, whereas like the touring company, they're <laughs> yeah, like, mate, yeah, we're making yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. bag off this. Give them something worthwhile, you know? <laughs> oh, but it's good though. You should do it. I can oh, see no. you doing it, Chip. Chip would be great. <laughs> no way, man. Oh, my, body's, my body's on the, on the brink of death now. I've got bad hips. Like, could you imagine me trying to do a little... <laughs> style okay, you've got it. If you oh. had one of the, these shows, which one would you do? <sighs> I, think, I think I'd do a, I'm a Celeb. Yeah, 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 that would be your... And that would be what you're best at. Let me tell you something about Chip. Yeah, yeah. He, In a similar vein to you, yeah. if he went on these shows, I think he would win a lot of people over very quickly. Like, his personality mm -hmm. is... like Never it, it wasn't. It wasn't... It it wasn't yeah. quite, it wasn't <laughs> quite um, keep fucking going. big brother, but you did do locked in. Yeah, keep going though. And you, so and, he, and, and he cooked everyone on there. And he Actually, cooked. Didn't um, Pie Face do big brother? Yes. yes. So probably he's the first, would we say? Yeah, but no, be, no, because he, he wasn't, wasn't a YouTuber, a YouTuber then, at that he? time. What nah. was he? He was, I think he was civilian. just a, he, a civilian. A civilian. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a bloke. Oh, an NPC. He was just still going to away games. He was mental on that big brother as well. There's a lot of funny clips of him on there. Yeah, he he was oh, gold. Lad, he was so likable at the start, and then everyone just grew to hate him at the end <laughs> really? because he was oh, just no. constant moaning. <laughs> we like, we, was just we, in we had him on the podcast, so and he was so funny. I fucking I wasn't there for that ep. Pie face up. I think I missed that one. No, you weren't. Yeah, but I can imagine you boys making your own reality show. Yeah, what, what would, would we do? Be? What would it be? I don't know. Maybe we could do it with your production company. Yeah, this give us something. Yeah, okay. What yeah, you you cook the idea. Is. You draft us in, and yeah. I swear to God, okay. we'll do it. Okay. We get, can we? We're hosts of it. Yeah. Yeah. We want to be like the Ant and Deck of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You won't be able I'm to always, sell I'm, a lick of advertising <laughs> on it because of who we are. There'll be someone. Joe, I actually do have a pitch for you for these boys. Oh, really? Okay. They, I remember we spoke about this in the pub a few times that where fucking bullshit. like you two would go around visiting the seven wonders of the world. Yeah. Mm. Like okay, that. I like this. We're on some up. Yeah. So it's just, kind of just like, well, In the oh, same way that you did your um, road trip oh, with Casper. Yeah. Right? yeah. But yeah. we, we want to go and visit the seven wonders of the world. Yeah. Because Chip is very much like Carl Pilkington. You did something like that recently, no, in the camper van. You went to like Bruges or somewhere. Monaco. No, we go yeah. Monaco, oh, but we drove all the way in this fucking we like a, shit box. That's a shit theme park. Oh yeah, that's a <laughs> park asterisk. Yeah, that was on our way. Uh, so we just right. kept stopping in Paris yeah. and like different little towns yeah, yeah, yeah. in France. And that was class. It's, it looks fun. But yeah, we we do, we, we want to do we way do Texas more of that in America, of yeah, like yeah. deep south. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the fucking your production okay, right, company okay, fund okay, it, bro. Okay, okay. Like, give, me, we, give me a week. No one else will take it. A week. That's this all is I making you sound like a, some sort of Simon Cow character. I'm not. I'll go. I'll go away and go. Yeah. <laughs> you all right. Hold, we, you hold all the cards, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> you boys. <laughs> He's gonna go. I'm like, right. How much do we have? We've got five grand for you, Chip. <laughs> Chip will make it work. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. So th th then you went on um, straight there, and that's where you met your partner. Yes. Yep. Diane. 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 Where is she from? She's Australian. She's from Perth, in Australia, near Perth in Australia. Yeah. Because you boys didn't go to... It's, it sounds weird that I know so much about your life. No, I've got, it feels so life, nice that somebody... <laughs> know, <laughs> somebody knows everything. Like, I've seen everything. I've, I've seen loved it, so. all the Australia bits. They were, they were great though. I loved but Australia. I love watching it because I, I like when other people appreciate how sick Australia is. Mm, like, it is an amazing place. place yeah, we want to go back. Um, sure. But yeah, I always... I've, there's actually vlogs from ages ago of me saying, I know that I'm going to end up with an Australian missus. Wow. Really? Yeah. You That's manifested called, that shit. Manifested it. And, and she's like from Perth. We, we never actually got a chance to go over there, yeah. but we will go back and we will go there. It's the, that's where um, Jammo and Dylan are from as well. Yes. yes yeah. Top that's, fucking boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. said you messaged them. Yeah, I did their yeah. podcast. Oh, uh, yes. Zoom. I think that was during lockdown or something. They're top yeah. boys. Yeah. yeah. We love them. I, think uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Uh, like really obscure, not saying that yours is obscure, but I listen to a lot <laughs> See, of like I hate ones podcasts. that people wouldn't realise that I listen to. Damn, yeah. I respect that you, so what, one a day really? Or? It's just a lot of train journeys, a lot of travelling and That's stuff. True. So it's like... Would you, would you ever live in Australia? <sighs> Eventually, cause especially this year, mm. the, the start of the year that we've had, I'm just like, I, I can't handle like the shit weather that we have. Can you just go and live there though? Or is it... I don't know. I don't know if you can. It, if you get married... Still got, still got like 
citizenship. She's, yeah, she's still. She's. Um, yeah. Oh, you're should be able yeah. to. Should be able to. Let's get that green card, then. baby. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I think you've got to get married first. So. Well, what the fuck are you waiting for then? Yeah, just well, for that. you sound like you sound like my Instagram comment. Any pictures <laughs> oh, posted really? me and Diane? <laughs> when you get married, when you put the ring on it, I, I don't know Brenda. Thought, when I want to move to yeah, Australia, I don't know Brenda. <laughs> I genuinely thought you were engaged. Really? For ages. Yeah. Casper is. Casper. Like, yeah. 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 Is that your groups engaged? Oh, you engaged? No, 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 no. no. Well, um, uh, Chip's got uh, a thing that he's only going to get engaged when um, his missus has a a, a company, an LTD. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, until she's getting her cheddar like that. Yeah, yeah it's not interested. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, she needs to have stocks. Yeah, really. I want to see an investment account. Yeah, was it the S and P? Yeah. The S and P isn't that like a Scottish Minecraft server? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it P and L? So you've got um, is that it? P and L? That's profit, profit loss, right? Yeah, profit <laughs> loss. <laughs> Oi, we're finished. You know. We are so. How's he talking about starting a production business. company? No, we're she, business, needs, she needs to put her stuff in the FTSE 500. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> start making some cheddar. But you've got Stop dogs pay- together. Yes, yeah. that's pretty much. That's you got, you're no further along than we are, and we haven't got a dog together. She yeah, want one. They're crazy. I've heard they're yeah. shagging. <laughs> yeah, he he a does. demon. Yeah, he is a demon. Um, he, uh, we actually, our video, our last podcast got demonetized because yeah, nice one. Yeah, because Chip's dog's don't, so fucking. Don't horny. ask me. He's just he's going through that period in his life where he doesn't know what he wants. Well, he doesn't know his sexuality either because he's fucking my dog. No, he's just he's gay. Yeah, he is gay. He's gay. Like we got a little rainbow like teddy in the <laughs> gaff and he gravitates Aww. towards that teddy. So I know he knows yeah. that he's gay. That's like, you know, when the World Cup comes around and you put two teams down. Yeah. And they say like, oh, which team's going to win? <laughs> and they did it with like an octopus. So instead, oh, this, this, this time you just put a little rainbow. Yeah, I got a rainbow with or a, you cl- put a two picture clou- of like Andrew it's, Tate. And you it's just a see rainbow with two clouds <laughs> on the end and then a dumbbell teddy. He, he, <laughs> he ain't fucking with a dumbbell. <laughs> no. Um, so you see about this Strictly curse. Mm. Is uh, people, people that don't know what they say is like, and you definitely won't know this. No. Um, is they say that <laughs> yet? No. No. no yeah. <laughs> when you go on strictly, yeah. it's like with your partner, you end up getting with your partner. Oh, okay. Is that good? Like we call it strictly blessing in our household. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> what was what was Diane with with another bloke and then you swooped in? Um, I, I you did a nab. That. No, you no. didn't nab it. No. You didn't come yeah. in and go, come no, on, sweetheart, no, no, no. let's roll. Look at me. I have, I, I have no, this you kind ha- of mood. No, you no, have an aura, though. Man, you, you have an aura. Yeah. Absolutely. I've got a nerdy aura. I wouldn't let you near my missus. Really? No way. There's an aura about you. Yeah. you, you you're Think. you're that you're too funny yeah. because I would then hear my missus real laugh for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to hear that. It's fucking top alumni of the Riz Academy here. <laughs> you're <laughs> different gravy, Joe. <y'all. laughs> no. So you did that, yeah. and but she then went on strictly afterwards. Were you stressed about the strictly curse? No, because I I think I'm quite I'm quite a um, secure man. Secure, yeah, I'm quite secure in myself. Yeah, Couldn't think it. No, I do. But I'm quite secure. Like I think if it happens, it happens. Mm-hmm. It wasn't meant to be. Um, I was more just gutted that I couldn't get out there and do it all again, to be honest. Really? But no, I, was, I wasn't worried. Like every year, people always say, like there's, there's always, you do get a lot of people online love to speculate and stuff. Every year, it's the same. Like every partner she's had since me, there's always been like news articles and people going like, oh, did you see the way she looked at him? And, and, like, and you're like, it's just no, some of the dancers though they do get a bit like well what's up with that yeah I, well i guess the show has oh, got a bit of a track record you do get a lot of people that do get together so like mm. stacy in my year who won she's um she's is she engaged stacy what's she's her last name stacy dooley oh got yeah entry maker yeah yeah yeah, yeah she's yeah. with her partner who is her partner on strictly Bro. So it does happen. A, so if a you're lot. if you're just struggling, maybe a little yeah. bit in the love department, yeah, flag yourself, yourself onto Strictly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Start porking. Mm-hmm. Oh, I I can imagine that gets quite messy though. What? Like if you're <laughs> porking and dancing, it's like, like it's not the same time, is it? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't got that category yet on the show. Yeah. I reckon a few years time. Whoa! Hold it there. <laughs> oh, it's like you know, remember when you're at home and you and you scroll down. It's like past twelve. You see sex etra. Oh my but god! But instead, yeah. it's like, like strictly come like oh, yeah. cum C-U-M <laughs> dancing. Bro, <laughs> sex etra used to go crazy. It was man. sex etra followed by DVD covers. No, like jackass, like eleven forty-five on Channel Four. Yeah. 
Am I thinking of the same show? You yeah, can't. You can't. You're, no, you Euro Trash. I'm thinking of Euro Trash. Euro Trash. What with, with the French bear guy. titties? Yeah. What was yeah. that show? That was Whoa. a good. That's where TV peaked. Bear titties. It was a lot. Yeah. It was proper. It was quite. <laughs> like right. Bear is in like. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> are you talking about like a naked woman? Grizzly bats. <laughs> Grizzly bats. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said, the way you said it. What you said it confused me. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts. Uh, is, is, is Stacey Dooley with this? Yeah, with this, this fella, yeah. So wait, did Saffron Barker port, uh, her partner or not? He was her partner. Have a look at this <laughs> because I, I read some articles at the time about this. No, that's the thing. So you can't trust the articles. Really? So are, are yeah. they, they don't have so good- They're trying to get good, clicks, man. From being some- Yeah, it, do you know what? I think fair enough because they're doing what, what we used to do. We want to get as many people to watch us yeah. as yeah. possible. Yeah. Um, but well, they sniffed you out early uh, doors. Hey, they they got you right. What do you mean? Like they were saying oh. that you two were porking, so they, they got that right. Yeah, they did. But also, they they used to. I remember after the show finished, they followed us. There's a guy who sat in a car. You know where I used to live, yeah. London. Um, there's a guy who'd wait in a like little layby in the bit that goes through our estate. I actually, used to live there. Yeah. Where? Yeah. He used to be my neighbour at one point. Yeah. Do you remember? In, uh, in Battersea. Battersea yeah. Ridge. Oh, yeah. We were neighbours yes, at one I point. Was. I always used to go out to my balcony and look onto your uh, cinema bit and be like, Joe's watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to meet, <laughs> we used to meet, yeah, me and Joe used to live in the same building and he, you had like a, you had a little rooftop. Was he in the penny? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this prime Joe Suck we're talking about. Right? <laughs> just... I actually saw Dan in a cafe once and I was like, she was missus, but I was too scared to say hello. Really? Yeah, because I didn't think she'd know me. So she, like, she actually walked through that bit. She, I mean, she was actually in that little Tesco that was there. Yes. She once went through that Tesco before we even met. And she, I remember she said to her friend, she's like, oh, one day I'd love to live here. And, and now she lives weird. there. It's a great place. Like, it was nice. So I think she saw summer. me coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was there like, but, something's going to happen. So wait, you had somebody sat there like filming oh, you. Oh yeah. It? So there's a, there's a, it was a, um, like a, I guess like a paparazzi guy sat there and I could tell from the, the car, I knew it was, it was him, Arsenal scarf or something on the dashboard. <laughs> So I called security because we were going off, we were driving off that day to go to like, um, to go away. And this is before we'd, we just, I think we'd just made it official. And uh, as we left, the, un they, the security sent him away. And as we left the underground car park to drive off, yeah. we got onto like, we were on like the motorway. I look in my rear view mirror and he's behind in this, um, I recognize the Arsenal scarf on the dashboard. I'm like, this, this guy's following us. This, he's literally following us. And it's so hard to drive when you know that somebody is following mm. you to probably try and get a photograph of you yeah. or whatever. Um, so I wanted to just speed off and just completely ditch him. But I thought he might be filming me and he might then go just like speeding, speeding and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, wow. So I pulled off. I ac accidentally pulled off because I just couldn't concentrate. And then we ended up like somewhere near like Portsmouth or somewhere. But we're going down these little country lanes. Wait, so you're miles away at this point? Yeah, we were, we were off to like the New Forest or something. And this guy follows us all the way from London <gasps> to like near to the New Forest. And then um, we got into these like sort of country roads and I grew up in the West Country. So I was like, I know how to drive in country <laughs> roads. Went back yeah. to my Peugeot 106 days. Like, <laughs> so I was like, right, but I'm going to try and lose him. And so I sped up, got away. I reversed into this like person's drive before a single lane track. And then he didn't see me park behind these bins in their driveway and carry on going on the single lane track. And then I ditched him. Ooh, mate, I felt, that's I cold. felt, I felt yeah. like James Bond. Yeah. It that's was sick. That's nice. That is yeah. so that's good. Slick. I loved it, but I hate being followed, but it was, um, that moment of a, getting away must've been the, like, the rush. Yeah. You. yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's wild. Yeah. That. That's what, that's what, um, that's what I don't think a lot of people realize is like, you see these pictures, but then you got to remember how, people get those pictures and it's usually like quite creepy yeah, yeah. They, they get decent money from as well i think really? yeah yeah because yeah, they just they take the pictures and go sell them to, mm -hmm. to you, get the you get yeah. some people that are like in it with them so they'll go i'm gonna be here at this time and they like work with them yeah well, well that's like, what, like, like a mole. and all that like, yeah. a, like a mole no no, no, no. They just reach out to them and go oh, i'm gonna be here i'm not gonna be i'm gonna be 
going out with my friends, probably going to be drunk. Oh. Yeah. If you want to get pictures of me oh, after. because they want, they want the publicity. Yeah. But then you also, then you got the snakes, the, the people in the friendship group that are maybe with somebody famous. Selling and then they're like, just so you know, yeah. me and XYZ are going here. Ah, get who, some pictures of me. Who would be the guy out of your friend group? Who would be, who would be that guy? Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, are you trying to get a pic? I'm getting a bag. I'm getting a bag. <laughs> like, me, me and KSI will be here. Yeah. Get that pic. <laughs> How much do you reckon you get for that? It dep- no, the thing is, if there's like, if it's, like it, it's all about the timing. Like, if you get it when it's like there's a bit of controversy or people are talking about this person, yeah. well, I reckon you probably get a couple of grand. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Yeah, it depends where you're at in your life and what you're doing, and if you've how long you've been, it's been before you've been seen or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, but. then you, you have. Um, it's always coming out about like certain celebrities, usually from like the reality TV world, where like they find out that their friends have sold them out and. Um, there's loads of like, or like, was it not like the Rooney, Colleen Rooney? Do you remember when that happened? Well, the, yeah, uh, the Wagner for Christie. Yeah. 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 That was that, not quite that. That but was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was they a, get into a, like a, a scrap. Disney show. Yeah. Like yeah a Disney, something like that. Disney Plus show. Yeah, yeah, it did. And it was something. unreal, by the way. Yeah. It was like a courtroom drama. It was class. Yeah. I, I was know. tuned in. I'm, I was out. Of course I was out in, bro. I love that sort of stuff. Yeah, you mm. do. Um, uh, all right, so then uh, obviously you've done all the wait. The, the the thing that I want to bring up was actually way before. I think it was before you went on Strictly, um, and I'm so glad to have you here because oh, I've been shit. waiting for this for a long time. You know, I know what, I know what you're gonna say. I've been waiting, I and he's say. in front of me now. He's in front of me. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is a legacy. We fi- shit. we finally nah, have. I'm, I'm, I'm on his side. Bro. We have. I'm the, with him. We have the creator. <laughs> of an image that has haunted me for years. No, and, 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 and worst of all, he had done it so well that people to this day refuse to accept that it is Photoshop. It's and it is my picture. first image. I love. It's not edited, is it, Joe? I love that that is the story that you've stuck with in your head. Like you, no way! Yes. No. Stop, stop, it stop, 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 stop. Because, no, stop. You, there's no way you're coming onto here and you are not going to explain you know <laughs> how you've it. done this to me. You know I know. When, you know when someone like genuinely believes something enough, yeah, right? And they, then they're convinced. Yeah. This is what we're seeing, right? You know what? Back in the day, back right when Joe posted this, 2017, by the way, those this face tune out face apps, they weren't a thing. Bro, like, Joe doesn't even know how to use Photoshop. No. no. Take- and when I did discover how to do that, I used to just make people's eyes slightly too far apart yeah. and then post them. This yes. is this would be no, too no. much. That's that was no, no, no. Pre- pre- That's just this is how I know. This is how I know. And I- I'll, I'll actually call him. I'll call him right now. Is I remember very vividly back in the day, this man used to torture people with edited photos. Okay, what he used to do is, and I remember, I believe it was Connor Maynard that felt victim to one of the worst photoshopped images I've ever bad. seen. That was bad. And it was Joe Sugg. What he used to do is he would make small edits to people, but just obvious enough for people to go, "What the fuck is that?" But enough to go, "That could be real." And it was Connor Maynard's forehead. Yeah, can so we find that? We you might be able to. So I edited it and then gave it to Casper, I think. Or I did I used to do them all the time, and then Casper did one and posted it on Cas if you type in Connor Maynard forehead. Connor Maynard forehead uh Casper Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and it, it got to the point where it's quite bad. Like I think Connor was like, guys, like this my record label are asking me like what's going on. Like mm-hmm. as in like Here it got go. bad. Because what will happen is oh my God, it's, is it this? So because okay. what will happen is if it gets enough traction, it will then become, when you search it, it becomes this right here. That was it. That was it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, wait. Good luck to everyone Every- to their GCSE results today. Just remember, I didn't even take them and I'm now friends with Conor Maynard. Maynard. And they've used... That's, that's one of them. But the original is us all sat at a table uh-huh. at a wine estate in South Africa. And because Connor's like one of many in that photo, it's not as obvious. But then yes. one of the meme pages got hold of it or someone on Twitter was like, I haven't heard Connor's music for a while, but is he all right? Because his forehead is just like ever so slightly too big. <laughs> and it just took off all the meme pages, got it. And it was just, that was it. Spread like wildfire. And he, um, oh, is this? He wasn't happy. No, 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 no. That's not it. At a table. That is a crazy pic. I think, no, I'm not. Gonna... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Is it that one? That might be. No, oh, no, it's going to. Is that, is that I it? I think that, no, that's nah. Casper edited at the back. What's kind of Maynard up to these days? There it is, that, that picture there, that's, that's, that's the one. It. That was it. Oh my lord. So we made Whoa. it ever so slightly bigger. 
You gave him like an extra terabyte. See, that's normal. That's a normal one. Yeah, okay. The, I that's see the edited it. one. Look at the shine as well. <laughs> yeah. Very real. But it looks There's it looks nothing real. subtle about that. No, no, I know, but it's <laughs> enough for you to think like fucking hell, mate. Like what's <laughs> going on here? But to Turkey. The, the, uh, the, the charity match recently, the most recent one. Yeah. Do you remember I can I show Chip the picture I took of I found of you? Again, yeah, it's the I, most I, recent one. I said, it to, I said, nah, yeah, I show it. I've forgotten it. I've forgotten it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see actually how realistic it looks. Because this guy, no, this no, guy no, has no, haunted we, me for ever we, since 2017. You know. Oh, man, how often do, you, people, do people message you about it then? All the time. All Still. The time. No, no, no. Seriously, I, I don't think you understand like how much like this picture has haunted me. It's a real pick, I think. It's I just, the, it. just the lighting <laughs> and, the, and the... It was on your birthday. This is crazy, it. by the way. I said, happy birthday, honey bun, and sent a picture and you put, never put that public. I can't do it again. <laughs> Try and guess which was on this picture. <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you it, bro. I'll yeah, put it up. It's got to go up on screen. But Are like, we going to make this public then? Yeah, you can put it up because I, I've right. got it here. <laughs> you, <laughs> you find yourself in compromising positions. Like you, I you, think it's uh, you're so yeah. streamlined when you run. Yeah, don't. Just yeah, that's runner. not the right word. You, you know, know the word you, you want to use. See that blur on it as well. You are going quick. That's the thing. The, the, the FPS can't even keep up with you. <laughs> you just, that's why you're blurry. The worst thing is up. in the original curse photo, you can actually see. The person's head behind me is squished no. from the no, editing. I think it is. I don't think it is. It is. You keep saying that, but I don't think it is. You know what? Pull up, pull we can up, put this. Up. We can put this to an end if you have the original yeah. picture, right? Yeah. If it's an edit, so where's the original? No, all I think that's years. a great point. No. Where's the original? It was in when, a Google right. Drive. So you and all the players got sent of pictures of everyone. Can else. I point out? So you're saying the guy to your left, his yeah. head squished. His head well, squished. Obviously, now it looks different because the sun is hitting his face. It doesn't erase half of your head. It does. He's further back. Let me tell you something. That, There's a lot of overexposure. Line. He's right. The yeah. sun would have cut off the face because of the overexposure. Cody, oh, let me man. tell you something. You know how he says, I'm saying, <laughs> let me see the original picture. Look at my fucking head. <laughs> no. What? How can you not see that and go no. down fucking editing? No. I look so far. <laughs> no. It's because you're, you, you, said... you put your laces through it. That's why. <laughs> you just you went back and you put Do your you laces through it. Do you know how this it. is a real screen grab as well? Because you said it would be, it was from a Google Drive. No <laughs> photographer is sending that kind of quality picture in a Google Drive. That's no, 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 but that's the yeah. thing. He's he, When he whacks it on Twitter, back then they had bad compression nah, settings. <laughs> don't try it, bro. To nah. God. It's, this is going to be one of life's mysteries, I think. Yeah. I love it's, not, it. it's not a mystery, it's a real image. I love that episode where you found like all the other things that look like you. And there's that, what's that like anime, like dog thing that looks like No, um, oh, <laughs> Cart Titan, Cart Titan, Cart Titan. That's that crazy. You. That is you. You know, no, but, oh wait, there, yeah. wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. Yo, you got a lot of funny pics out there, bro. <laughs> yeah, because everybody is rinses. The, yeah, look, so, so yeah, the truth behind the curse. Yeah, see, people have so debunked it, it. I'm not seeing the sauce anywhere. Oh, there's a Reddit, there's a red. Look at that. Someone, someone's made you the Bundesliga photo. I oh, know. Well, it's been everywhere. Oh, that's quality. I've just realized. <laughs> Look at you Wait. fucking doing Monday Night Football in a video about it. <laughs> oh, man. That would have made great merch. See, it's, that's the original. He did do I, a jumper. Yeah, I had, it, I had it, it curse. Was, it, 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 it was the Jordan logo, but as that. Yeah. Oh, oh, sick. So instead of him dunking, sick. it was that. Because I thought, you know what? I got. But I, I don't think I ever sold it. I just got them made. Yeah, he got made for like a video. I look forward to that yeah. check in the post for the royalties then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, well, oh whoa! Wait, why, would you, why, would why would you want you royalties? What would you need? Why would you want royalties? Because I posted it. Yeah, that's true. I, fa oh, I found the image oh, and no one else has claimed it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe you've oh, come here so and you've tried to run with it as well. No, I'm fully with him because I know it's but a real image. It's good, it's good. Like, I think it, it's. It is what it is. It is what it is, day. isn't it? Yeah. At the end of the day, it's the night, and when the night ends, the day begins. <laughs> Thank you, bro. No, I do appreciate that. I'm, I'm very grateful. Let me drop. A, I dropped a little one on my Strava the other day. The more you do with your time, the more time you have. Just uh, take that one home with you. You too, John. <laughs> that's what. That's <laughs> one to mull over Strava. on the train. Yeah, home. Well, yeah that was go. a difficult one, but go. it's a, it's a, it's a mind boggler. Can I get? A, if I send a cardboard cutout of that, <laughs> can you have it in your hundred percent for the next hundred percent? It will. Oh, please. We'll yeah. put it in. We'll put it in this set. <laughs> here. <sighs> It's you have to come deliver it as a UPS delivery man down the stairs. I love and that. I swear yeah. to God, we'll okay. put it in. Um, right, I, I, I want to talk. You write in books. I have done in the past, yeah. Do you make good yeah. money from books? Uh because I've always that, wondered yeah, this. Back, wondered back, in, the, back something. in the early days, like you, could, like the the graphic novels and stuff that I did. Yeah. Because back then, 
this is the thing. This is the thing. Like when we did YouTube, it was such like a new and upcoming thing, and so everyone was like, "Wait, who are these YouTubers?" So like, uh, the YouTuber book, that whole thing that my sister started, um, just sort of took off, and then they were like, "Oh, we'd love to do a book with you." And I was like, "Well, I don't want to do like a book like everybody else has done. I want to do something a bit different." And I used to love comic books and and graphic novels and stuff, so I wanted to do something like that instead. And um, it did. It did. It was it. I don't quite know what this means, but they said it was the fastest selling graphic novel of all time at one point. I was really? like, Whoa. But fastest selling in terms of what, like in a day or yeah. an hour or I don't know, but Good it was, point. but it did, like, they were massive. Like we used to do like book tours for them and like go, we did, I mean, my first book tour was at the Emirates Stadium. Um, not like filling out the stadium, but just at the Emirates yeah. Stadium. Still, but that, like, it was crazy, like mental Mate, that's sort of times. It was you weird. Used to do, you used to do quite a bit of, not, did, well, am I right in thinking you did like live stuff though? Because I we did feel live like shows. We did. We yeah. did. Um, we did. Yeah, we used to do like things like play, uh, uh, VidCon playlist live, which yeah. I don't even know. Is VidCon VidCon still a thing. I don't know if playlist live still a thing. Mm. No, nah, or like, they've all been like merged out. into yeah. a, one. Like, but we used to have like things like YouTube conventions that like you, all the YouTubers would go to. Like you must have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I guess somewhere the, in the city wasn't that the, the main city, one? Yeah. yeah, things like that. That was super nax. Yeah, I yeah. Going to that one time, yeah. The first one was um, just it was like sort of almost like unofficial underneath like the London Eye, yeah. and that, it, people just queued up, and then everyone was sort of walking past, like, "What is going on?" Uh -huh. They couldn't work out. They thought it was like um, a meet and greet. Yeah, well, it's it just like was a it. crazy meet and greet. But we did that. There was things sort of like Digitor. Uh -huh. There was because um, you guys were uh, very much like the first, I would say, the first of the YouTubers to really monetize outside of YouTube and your mm. classic like brand deals and stuff yeah. like that by doing like you did your Joe and Casper on the yeah. road stuff. You did like you said with the book. I yeah. remember like I felt like Zoe, was she the first one to do it? Yeah. So she did it and then it was almost like a domino effect between you guys. Yeah. And I think all the publishers went, oh, that went well. Hold yeah. on. Let's get them all in here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's it was um it was like a very, I think, I, I kind of feel like it all sort of stemmed because when you think back to it, it was when One Direction had just taken off. Yeah. And so like the world were kind of like into British boys yep. in general. So I think it just sort of, we hit at the right time, right place. Um, and it just sort of took off from there. And it was like, it was such a, it was a wicked time. It was really, really good. But, um, but uh, yeah, now, yep. I'm, now I'm older and... <laughs> Do you think... Um, that YouTubers back then are earning more than like what the younger ones are now. I don't know. Like of Ginge and Danny and people say. like that. I'd love to, yeah, I'd love to, I'd I love to know. I swear the brand deals back then with that female audience were crazy. Uh, that's what I always had in my mind, but I don't it, know if it's true. There was, um, what do you know? It's, uh, you don't know much looking at you. Let's, <laughs> let's, I'm hoping unless we share numbers. Them. No, yeah. I, was thinking, I, never had Guys, a I never had a coin sponsor back in the day. Some people here did. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, that was good, but That's it's still it's yeah. still never. What's I don't think matched. I mean, like even nowadays, most people, you know, if you're doing between like 500k to like one million, you're probably looking at like 20 grand for a sponsored video. Right. Yeah, okay. that, that's like nowadays. Roughly, yeah, nowadays. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously you've got ones that will like sort, sort of pay you more than that. Like, you know, I, mm. I've had ones up to like 40, 50. Um, but yeah, it just depends on that. And I'm not too, like back then, because even in those times, just getting a brand deal for us was pretty much unheard of. I mean, I remember hearing at one point that Alfie was getting like 15 grand for a sponsor in a video. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking like, oh my God, like that's insane. Why, like I, I was getting maybe like half of the views that he was, but I was only getting like four grand. And I was thinking, yeah. oh, how's he doing that? How's he doing wait, that? And then we he, used- wait, Sorry, what did he get? Like 15 grand. Yeah. For for uh, a sponsored video. And I don't know at what point this was in, in his YouTube career, but he was. Get, I remember thinking he's getting that. And I used to just think, oh, it must be because he's got a female audience and naturally a female audience tend to be more valuable than, than a male audience. Mm. I, th I wonder if as well, it was kind of part of like the, because there's a lot of like um, broader attention, I feel like on the, Brit crew at that time. Yes. So like a lot of people, especially with the book stuff, people from outside going, who are these YouTubers? And I think at the time, like our management were very much sort of putting us forward as like, this is the, so I think it's sort of having that extra sort of external attention helped yeah. push 
those prices up perhaps compared yeah. to that you guys at the time i don't know but no, for sure because you were with gleam at the time right yeah yeah and they were notorious like they were at the time it was like oh okay yeah they were yeah, the, the they ones. were the, they're the ones sort of like paving the way i guess but uh-huh. i saw a tiktok a few, someone sent me a tiktok a few months ago of a guy who used to work in marketing for some brand and he did a tiktok saying um i used to work in marketing for a certain brand that I won't name um and we worked for the likes of zoella alfie da, da, and um, uh, Joe, and he wasn't even one of the bigger ones. And I was like, oh, cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs> um, but there was, he was saying that he wouldn't charge anything less than a hundred grand for an Instagram post, which I want to say on record is absolute bollocks. Like, I wish, but it, it was nowhere near that. But so I don't know where wow. that's come from. I'd like Wait, to see where that's from. What but, the, yeah. But a hundred grand for an Instagram post. Yeah. Huh? I was like, who, in what world? I would love that, but yeah. that's not happening in my world yeah. <laughs> at all. Fuck yeah. um, that's wild. But, I, th- I th- yeah, I think it was just sort of I don't know, but surely like, surely people like Ginge and like Danny and like they're you making boys, good like, money. Like, yeah, yeah it's still well, be good. Ginge is like the number one most subscribed streamer in the UK. Yeah, right? I mean, I, so, ima- I imagine if if I was to estimate, Ginge is probably making anywhere between sort of like sixty, seventy to like one hundred and twenty k a month. Mm. Yeah. I love what they're doing with the um, growth and turf. Uh, turf as well. Class. That, that needs to be sponsored or some, something. I don't know. Yeah. Like, there's, is it yeah. not? Is it, it's not right now. No, nah, but there, there is see, always the thing of like ruining it. something yeah. that yeah, is working really well. Like imagine they're like, oh mate, nice goal. Sponsored to you by Domino's. <laughs> yeah. Unless they so, do it in a way that's like, yeah. He doesn't yeah. need it, I guess, as well. No, he's already true. making a bag. Uh-huh. I mean, it yeah. probably the only thing is maybe you could give it to some of the other guys that are in the the team I don't know fuck that he's, well, no. the, the thing is they all stream their POV so it's just so they're, on all, they're all doing well anyway yeah, yeah. True. he went to Rooney's gaff didn't he yeah I saw that, that yeah, that's hilarious. crazy I love that he's got involved yeah it's, it's, it's mental when you actually just think the, about it for a second there was a big bit though where everyone was there like they were just were absolutely convinced that it's not actually Wayne Rooney because mm. Wayne Rooney has loads of impersonators as well yeah and it would be really easy just to get like a voice guy to come on and just chat some yeah some bollocks so a lot of the comments where they're like it's not him it's not his not that's him that's why his TikTok and then, was like yeah. uh no Confirmed it's it. not Wayne Rooney here you go yeah I hope that I hope it sort of spills over into like people starting clans for things like Call of Duty and like Bro, I was trying to bring games. back the golden days yeah, yeah. like uh, game battles well, game what, battles um, oh, so good. fuck it just shut down has it? Like last year, I got an email about it. So gutted, man. My used, record. Bro, I used, I used to, to love, love game yeah. battles. It used to be on that. We might have played against each other yeah. at one point. For those that don't know, like game battles was the original. You go on. It was a website where you'd go on. You create your clan. You yeah. put your gamer tag in. Yeah. You'd search for another team, and it was just kind of like yeah. you'd eventually set up a private match. Yeah. It was quite a long process, and you had wasn't to it? like report your scores. And if yeah. You didn't report the same Pictures scores, and, and you had to get you had like got picks to prove it. Dispute yeah. it. The dispute. admins would go and look. It yeah. was And you build your record up. It was. Yeah. Big, it was the main thing. My my name was my gamer tag was CND Monoxide. Oh my Whoa. god! How horrendous is that? Nah, you, you're exactly gas. the type of guy to be called that though. Like just looking yeah. at you, I'm thinking, yeah, you're That's a monoxide mean. type of guy. Tearing up those lobbies. I want to talk briefly about uh, a time before YouTube, yeah. and I actually seen you do a TikTok that popped up for me of you going back to your roots, which was thatching. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty crazy because who was it? Was it you probably that said earlier today, like, I can't believe, I didn't realize that he actually was a Thatcher. Nah, I was saying Somebody about said you being mates with Syndicate. Didn't realize uh, you were pals, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Syndicate. The, um, I, no, I was, uh, that's the thing. I used to get a lot of people going like, why Thatcher Joe? Is that, they thought I was like a um, big fan of Margaret Thatcher. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> um, no, it's, yeah, I used to be a roof thatcher back in the day. What's a roof right. thatcher? Dumb it question, was, uh, probably, but. So you get, it was, well, let me take you back many, many years ago. Oh, uh, me a story. I love it. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm settled in now. Everyone's like, fuck this, turn it off. No, um, back in the day, farmers used to try and get their, they'd make barns and they used to try and get the, they wanted to put a, a roof over the barn as fast as possible. So they get the old farm boys to cut some wheat in the field and put it on the roof to keep the cows dry and the stock mm-hmm. dry. And that's how thatching originated. Oh. And now it's become this thing where... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of picturesque, sort of chocolate box cottage type. Very, it's quite nice um, though, really, isn't it? Do you know what? I loved it. I, the thing is, I, I thought this was going to be my career my entire life. I thought I'd be doing this time like 70 years old, going up and down a ladder. And then I started doing YouTube as a hobby on the side. So I'd work um, six days a week. On the Sunday, I'd film 
a YouTube video. Um, I borrow Zoe's laptop to edit it on and she'd help me upload it. And then it just sort of, I was very fortunate that Zoe already had an audience. So then, and a predominantly yeah. female audience as well. So a lot of them were like, oh, who's your- Nice looking Yeah, who's his brother? Who's your brother? Who's- Yeah. Um, Super fit. <laughs> so they, so they, uh, they um, so I instantly sort of got a following from that. And then I continued doing this though, till I had like, one point eight million followers. What? Oh, wow! Still, cause I was because back then we didn't know the it wasn't a big money maker. You didn't yeah. really know but what also it was. You had no idea how long it lasts. Like, I like yeah. so I had to I remember. I had to ask my uncle. Eventually, I had to pluck up the courage to go to my uncle, who's my boss, who taught me this craft. I remember going right. I'm gonna. Need, I need to tell him that I'm gonna Set stop and do YouTube full time just for a year to see how it goes. And the day I turned up. Um, at his house to go to work there was this red like postman pat van on the drive and I was like oh shit what's this and he goes oh I've bought this for you it's for, so you can go off and do thatching on your own and you've got your own van now <gasps> and I was like oh no. fuck I was like so I was, that was the day I was going to tell him that I was going to oh, quit oh wow so I continued doing it for a further two months oh. in this little red van that kept breaking down and I had to keep jump starting it to get it going filling the back up with straw still was on the roof going I need to, I need to tell him but I just don't know how to don't know how to tell him um, and then eventually I think my dad had a word with him and said, look, this YouTube thing, um, doing all right. it's do I think he's doing all right. I think he, he wants, basically he wants to tell you that he wants to do this full time, but he, he can't, he's a little pussy. So can yeah. you just give him a year to go and try it? And so you did, here I am. And it was, you sound yeah. about it. It was all good. I would, you know what? Still to this day, I actually met up with a, yeah, sorry. He was, he was, he was fine about it. I think yeah. he, he realized. Yeah. So he, um, but even to this day though, like I loved the job I didn't really like as a part of me that still loved being outside doing sort of the manual like lifting bits and but I used to ha I used to actually have muscles at one point from really? doing, from, doing from lifting wow. like straw and dealing with all that kind of stuff but it's um but I still well, love you, it. you got a, on your new gaff you got a thatched roof nah oh, I feel like you need one I know yeah, are like they good but I would I your wouldn't law. as a thatcher I wouldn't yeah. have one because you're living under a giant compost heap because it's full of like There'd be times where I go up, to, I go up to the roof. I'm pulling out straw, and all of a sudden, a rat. Just, well, you see a rat run out of the roof, or <laughs> be a squirrel up there, or um, oh man, we used to get up at like uh, get up super early at sort of like um, five thirty. You get to the house at like six because you had to. You're on like wasp nest duty, yeah. so you had to put a ladder up because um, also scaffolding was you, you'd use scaffolding, but you wouldn't for a wasp nest. Yeah, put a ladder up. Um, one of us would hold the bottom of the ladder. The other one would go up with ant powder to the wasps because they were sleepy in the morning, like docile. <laughs> You'd squirt the ant powder into the wasp nest and then slide down the ladder and jump off because they all come flying out. <gasps> it was quite like a, it was quite a tough- Yeah. yeah. Stung by a wasp. I've to this day, touch wood, I've never been stung by a wasp or a bee. Wow. That's impressive. Oh, I could wow. be allergic, That's but never. Oh, no. that's such a good point. But oh wait, I do. you just made me realize. Do you only realize you're allergic to a wasp thing? When, when it's too late. It's yeah, that's yeah. I don't know. How do we know? How will we find out? I need to ask my mom if I've ever been stung. You know, I don't think I have. Because if I haven't, yeah, and then you get stung by a wasp, you're yeah. finished. That's, yeah, you start, the your boat yeah. closes up. You could be in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, in that's a what a way to go out. Oh, though. That's yeah. a reeky one. Shit. That's a terrible way to go. So yeah, you 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 did that, and then yeah, just moved it. So was your sister? much bigger than you at that time. Yeah, I'd say she, she had a blog. So she had, this, there's a website called like Blogspot or something. Like, do you remember uh -huh. that? Like yeah, 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 I remember that. Um, so she started doing a blog first and then that got quite big and she got like a thousand followers on that. And then I remember she did like a, her first YouTube video, I think was like showing people just what she had in her room. Like here's 20 things I have in my room. Yep. And people were like, oh cool, I want one of those things. And she'd then go and do like hauls at Primark and people were like, loved She's it. She's the proper OG, you know? Sort of, yeah. yeah Cause it was yeah. such like a, such like a crazy early time where you could do like, and I think back then as well, cause nobody else was really sort of doing it. There probably were people. Cause like even like our generation of YouTube, there was a generation before us of like, Charlie is so cool like, and yeah, you know, people like that. Um, but I feel like it was, I guess, our generation that sort of propelled it, propelled it for a little sure. bit, yeah. Well, um, like she essentially walked so that Molly May could run. 
<laughs> Maybe, yeah. Like, that's, where, that's the way yeah. I see it. Yeah. Um, Do you still it? see any of them lot that you hung out around with? Yeah, because uh, after, sorry, after that, you yeah. then joined, I don't want to say you joined a crew, but you you had a friendship group. Yeah. That formed out of it. Yeah, we did. That, that consisted of like Marcus Butler. Marcus Butler. Casper Lee. Casper. Ollie White. Ollie White, yeah. I feel like I'm missing Did someone. it have a name, the group? We, I think we're just called the, referred to as like the Brick Crew. Okay. I feel like. Yeah. We were the Brick well, did Crew. Did I miss anyone there? Uh, Jim Chapman, Tanya oh Burr, gosh. oh my gosh, Louise Pentland, Damn. yeah, there was a sprinkle of glitter, was it? A sprinkle of glitter, nah. Um, who else? Uh, uh, sort of Louis Cole, remember Louis? Yeah, Cole? yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Food, food for, Louis, for Louis, fun for Louis. Yeah. Um, it was like all us group, and do you know what? It was kind of like this weird moment of like, because if we would have, would we have all been friends in a different scenario without YouTube? Probably not. Or we probably wouldn't have crossed paths or whatever, but we were all sort of enjoying this exciting moment together. So it was all kind of like, I mean, you guys might have it now still even where you, you, you sort of all edit together or like geek out over YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And we were like proper like into it. And um, I just think, yeah, I, out of all of them, I can't remember the last time I saw Louise or Marcus even. Marcus lives in Berlin, I think. Yeah. He's got like, he's well, he went like high, tattoos. he went high fashion. He he's did, like, yeah. He's like he DJ, did. like in Berlin, he, he's like he's such nightclub. a sexy man. Is so, yeah, what's the DJ now? Man. I think he's a DJ in like sort of like sexy Berlin <laughs> nightclubs. Uh, he popped oh, up wow. on my TikTok the other day, yeah. Go on his Instagram, he's like, um, so lame. proper, wow. he's aged well. Oh, he has, he's done well. Oh, oh, he oh he's so like good looking oh. and cool. See, here's me looking like a pickled ball. Nah, bag. Look at all of us, man. Look at like, he's, look on, at he's on a different wave. I love that for him. Yeah. yeah. And then Ollie yeah. sort of joined a bit later on, I guess. I met Ollie on the way to Summer in the City. Yep. Uh, and um, yeah, look at him. Proper Just model. a good, a good looking bloke. So what, he's still out in Germany. Is he doing his thing? Just, yeah. Germany. When was the last time you saw him? Doing German things. Um, God, must have been. Ages. Ye like probably like Six years, seven oh, years ago. Oh wow! Did you chat at all though? Um, recently we spoke because yeah. we. It's like it's the t um, this year is like a ten year anniversary of us doing that um, song. That song that we did. Is it actually the song? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we brought that came up recently on the pod, didn't <laughs> What's it? What's the song? The song. Did it? Do you remember, or, or who did it? Who was I speaking to about it? And we pulled. I pulled it up. It's the uh, the charity the, tune. The charity single, yeah, for sports release. Now nah, you was. gotta get it's this all up, about man. YouTube. I don't know if I've even seen this. So we were talking about like, is there something of like, but I think even before doing anything like that, we just need to all meet up and go for dinner or something. Cause I do feel like if we all got back together, cause it's it been long enough. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. So it's like, if we all got back together and did something to commemorate this, I'm not saying make another tune. Yeah. So I don't think any of them would be interested in it, but it'd be like trying to get like a, in a way, it'd be, everyone's at such different points of life. Like, so, yeah, half hard. the people there have children now. You know what I mean, it's like <laughs> that's insane, isn't it? So it's, it's um, oh, you guys should definitely we should do, do something that, for man. it. Yeah, that would um, be so cool. Even just to to chat. So you you well, you're on friendly terms with all these people. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I see Casper. I'm going to see him actually after this. So yeah. like, I see Casper all the time. Well, you got businesses with him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and someone's got to look after him as well. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> he. You know, he is like that. He surrounded himself with good caretakers. Yeah. Like there's he's, good people around him to make sure he's on the straight and narrow. He's got a he's got a sort of like um, dopey exterior, but he's a very clever person inside. You know, yeah. you see, you probably see Casper quite often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard I about do, these poker nights. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Where's never, your invite to that? I said to him, I said, why am I never invited? Oh, have you played poker before? It's like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not great at playing it, but but um, yeah, the poker nights. Are said, even chip, like, chip on one of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I went once and won. Are you good at yeah. poker though? No, I'm just like a guy that barely knows how to play. See, that's yeah. that's me though. So but I think I if you like, barely know, you you're quite like you got an advantage. That's exactly what I said, and I think that's why he won't invite me. I yeah. don't know. Oh, because you you'll rock up, you'll be hard to read because you don't know what you're doing, and you yeah. walk away with five grand. Yeah, that's actually what, what happened I to did. You. Yeah. And it was that. a charity night, yeah. And they go like to him, and it was kind of a thing, you know. If you win, you know, give a bit of that to charity. Yeah, yeah. Chip to the envelope. Chip to the envelope. Just walked off. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know your boy's outlook on charity. Well, the thing so. is, the, yeah. five, the five hundred. I, put, I did a five hundred pound buy in at yeah. the beginning, and that was your donation. And let me tell you something. I was fuming about that when I rocked up. They were like, "Yeah, it's five hundred pound." I was like, "Oh, okay." Like, what? And then, yeah. they, well, I wasn't angry until they said it's going to charity. I just didn't know, so I actually just did walk off with the envelope, and I just <laughs> yeah. and, and I went out on a night out. And oh. then, and then he never yeah. gone back. 
he did the one poker night. He won yeah. it, and then he just said, "No, nah, I'm leaving on that." The thing is, I know that when I go to that poker night, I know that it's probably going to lead into a big night out, and I yeah. kind of try and avoid that because I know it's just going to be expensive. Because you got no self control. Yeah. Well, yeah, hundred percent. No, so I'll just end up on a big night out, five a.m. Yeah. Fucking Prodi's someone's ki- kitchen. Prodi's kitchen. <laughs> Prodi's <laughs> kitchen. Where yeah. is a Where is a big night out nowadays? Oh, we don't really do them, man. Do you still yeah, go? Remember so- Roxy back in the oh. day? I've got a picture with you on my Instagram, and we're in the Roxy. Really? Yeah, it's me and you in the Roxy. And I was Roxy Wednesdays. Yeah. yeah. I remember you used to just go around because your thing was you go into Roxy and you'd go straight to the bar and buy about seven pictures. Yes. Of like margarita pictures, they were, and he was awful. handing out pictures to everybody. Yeah, when Roxy Wednesdays it became almost like church. <laughs> it did, didn't <laughs> like, it? Like it was, it, we'd go around to your gaff for pre drinks. Yeah. And here's a story as well: is I'd go around to his gaff for pre drinks, and um, we'd come up with like all sorts of games to play. And you had like, in my eyes, like the coolest flat. We would go around there. There was a table football. But yeah. Ooh. Oh, and we were pre drinking playing table football and somebody smacked their head on the glass <gasps> of the table football and they chipped their tooth. Oh yeah. And I was there like to him. I was there like, how the fuck have you done that? <laughs> like, I, and I forget who it was, but I was ribbing them. I was there like, have you chipped your tooth? You've just smacked your head into the glass <laughs> of it. About five minutes later. <laughs> Same thing. I'd done it to myself. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. And I had a big chip to it. And you can even, it, it, probably, it's it, probably on camera, but you can so actually you've got see. Cap. Have you got a cap there? Two of, no, no, no. It's just half of it is filled in. Yeah, it's capped. Yeah, I had that. I don't know if you can see it, it, but yeah. And so I have it filled in and it, it came from that. I from still that. went on the night out with like this big fuck up. It wasn't like a yeah. little chip. Half my tooth was missing. Yeah, yeah. Woke up the next day, hung over, bowled into like some emergency dentist, got it sorted. <laughs> sorted. But, those the days though. They yeah. were good. Fu- they were good fun. Yeah. But- Damn, I chipped my tooth on a can of Coke. Did you actually? How did yeah, you do that? I had a can of Coke in my mouth. I was drinking it and I think I walked into a wall and it just went straight. So walking Oof. into the wall chipped your tooth. Well, no, because uh, it's like that. that. The can had, I, I, it was an accident and I just, the can had just gone oh, straight into my tooth. Straight and shot. It just knocked half the tooth out. Shit. Um, Alfie, do you see Alfie and Zoe then? Yeah, much? yeah, yeah. I see them quite a lot. Yeah. yeah I still see them. They've got um, two little babies now. No, that's I'm crazy. On, on isn't uncle it? duty, which is nice. Do you like being an uncle? Yeah, I love it. I feel like I you suit the uncle vibe. I love uncle it. I, not I, in like the creepy way. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, Sorry, I don't. Not, not yeah, like not Chip's uncle. Oh, he's, no. he's a good bloke. <laughs> good bloke on his day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't want to bring up Chip's uncle. No, I get. We get the job done. I've heard stories. <laughs> yeah, heard about your uncle. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and because Alfie and Zoe, did they meet before you were big on YouTube? Yeah, they did. I think they met. Bef- they met early days. I think. Yeah. Early, early days. Yeah. So they've been. I mean, how long have they been together now? God, it must be. Were you friends with Alfie before she he was dating? Yeah, your sister? I was quite. Because I, I want to know how that conversation goes. Well, yeah, good point. Actually, um, I, I had no idea that they were were dating. Yeah. I remember going? We were speaking about it the other day. Actually, I remember we went to. Um, Reading Festival. Yeah. Going back way when. And me and my sister went for the day, but Alfie was camping there for the week with his mates and they met up then. And I really wanted to go and see the Foo Fighters. <laughs> they wanted to go and see Two Door Cinema Club. So we split ways. Yeah. And then I think, I reckon that was the moment. I don't know. Really? And then yeah. you came back and you're like, what's this? Yeah. Hang on a minute. No, <laughs> but, but no, but even past then, I didn't know. And then that he would come around quite often. Um, to our family home. I was still- <laughs> you were there like, mate, what are you doing there? And I still I still was complete oblivious. I didn't see the sign. Really? So it came what? as quite a shock to me in a way. I was a bit like, oh, I didn't know that. And then what, but- when it happened, were you just like, oh, fair enough? Or were you there like, angry like, no. I was like, what? No. no. Yeah. No, I guess <laughs> you just good. got to affirm it and be there. Yeah. Yeah. Because Alfie seems like a like- nice bloke anyways. It's not like, yeah. you know, like if he was... If my sister was dating Chip, I'd lose my shit. No fucking way, man. I'm a good soul. I'll take care of her. I'd go, nah, I'll see, take- look at the way he's talking about like That's disgusting. I'll take care of Sabina. You know, I'll take care of Sabina. She get I have 50 quid a week. <laughs> you want pocket money. <laughs> Wait, go you, buy yourself you, something nice. <laughs> take care of yourself. Fucking, we do trips. We go Debenhams and all sorts. Devon. So Debenhams. Oh, Debenhams. No, 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 Devon. Not way Devin. too far. Get yourself a little dress, love. Good tonight. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what that would have been like. No, he's good. He's, I thought I was, this is great. I've got someone else to collab with. He's, he's around all the time. This is Business great. Moves. That's how. That's how. 
Yeah. YouTuber in, in, innuendo bingo started. That's how yeah. the Tin Can Challenge started. Tin Can Challenge. The Tin Can. Because you guys challenge. birthed a lot of challenges. A chubby bunny. <laughs> yeah, chubby what? bunny. I had to do that the other day for a George Clark video. Oh, oh no. he brought it back. Yeah, he yeah, roped he you into that, did he? The real. We did the we did the cooking video. Mm -hmm. where you've only got a certain amount of things you can use, like a drafting thing. Yeah. And um, he made me and Casper do all those challenges again. That's brilliant. And it's, they, they still hold up, you know? They still, they they still hold up. I've got a chubby bunny challenge. Still... I did that. Um, and not even that long ago. <laughs> 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 I'm just catching up on Bro, all this stuff. Bro just became self-aware. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I did it last week. I feel like you'd be good at the chubby. You were good at that though. Well, because well, well, you've got, got a massive got a mouth. <laughs> now you're missing, half, you're missing half a tooth. You can, fit <laughs> a, yeah, just... you can fit a lot in that gob, Cal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can. You feel a whole lot inside that little number. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I saying it like that? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> hey, pipe down over there, buddy. Uh, and then uh, who, who else? Who, I'm trying to think. We didn't get it. Okay, yeah. So right, there's this funny moment, and you, you 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 can say you don't want to talk about it, right? But okay. I seen um, comments, right? And I forget the name of the girl, but she was part of the crew. Who were the two girls? Tanya and Louise. 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 One of them. Yeah. There's always comments under her things called saying, "Where's the hound?" What does that mean? Where's the hound? What does that mean? Where is the hound? Can you Google this, please? Where's what? the hound? So there was drama about a dog, a right? Dog. And okay. one of these girls, I forget which one, but it's definitely one of those part of the crew. And somebody <laughs> told me about this drama and it's annoying me because I've forgotten the lore behind this. The lore, <laughs> the OG YouTuber Yeah, lore. and I think it's Tanya. So can you type Tanya. in Tanya Burr? Yeah, where's the uh, hound Tanya Burr? Cause and then when the person told me, Where's I was dog? cry laughing. Oh, here we go. Here Where's we go. the hound? Where's the hound? So this is it. Tanya Bur Hound news. Breaking hound news. Do you want to put headphones on? Uh, is this what it is? Wait, I know that dog. I remember that dog. I what yeah. It was called. So did it go missing? So, so yeah. Dog. So like they had a dog. Him and uh, what was it called? Who was he? It was it um, Jim Chapman and yeah. And then they had this dog. Yeah, but then all of a sudden. The dog was in no content. Martha. Here you go. Martha. Here we go. Where yeah, it's one Martha? of these gossip. Where is Martha? <laughs> I know Hashtag where is Martha? I know this post will get a little to no attention, but I have some serious <laughs> concern about Tanya Burr. I know I'm not the only one wondering, but I've been worried about what happened to her dog, Martha, lately. It has been months since we've seen her. Neither Tanya or Jim talk about her at all, and I've been blocked from Tanya's IG because I politely asked how she was. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was as if she had vanished, and I find it to be scary. What's your thoughts about it, right? This is going to be the next baby so, reindeer, isn't it? No, like one right? of those, like crazy like and, and then so i think a few of these things had popped up and a few people made tiktoks and then on all of tanya burr's things that everybody started commenting where's the hound <laughs> <laughs> and oh it became no. this big thing and i was just wondering if you knew where the hound no, was i feel like i should know <laughs> i'm um i could ask that's yeah, cool. I would she love just to message her now. <laughs> Where's the hound? <laughs> <I call her? laughs> yeah, um, Bella. But I feel no. like she would have addressed it. So I was just wondering if the dog died. I, I and, would and assume that it probably is. If, yeah. it's, if it's not, I don't know. Or did or she like they, give it away, away and she yeah, was ashamed? It. Yeah. I don't know. Because um, sometimes, split up, didn't they? Was it a dog they had together? Yeah, they've now, they've both got children with different partners. I think they're both married yeah. or one's married. That's crazy. It's, yeah, it's a, there's a whole. Um, so I don't know. I don't know where I, I'm where I cannot hound? answer where the hound is. That's okay. Genuinely, that's I'd love to that's know. That's fine, man, because um, this has been, this has been on my mind for a long time. I'll ask and I'll, I'll, I'll report you, back. <laughs> yeah. We'd love to get some feedback on that. And look, if it's died, it's died. That's fine. Yeah. But I have fine. a feeling it, what's happened. <laughs> sad. Is, it, well, it's not sad. I didn't know the dog. Um, <laughs> okay. So what my, 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 my conspiracy here is that she's got the dog. Maybe the instas didn't perform as well as she had hoped. And she found the dog to be a lot of work. And That's that a happened. crazy allegation, bro. No, no, it's not an allegation. It's a, it's a, it's a, an conspiracy. idea, a conspiracy. And then, and then what she's done is, <laughs> now she hasn't killed it. I don't think she's killed the dog. I don't think she's killed the dog, but she's rehomed the dog. And it, so it could just be a bit of a bad look to be there, like, oh, I got the dog and yeah. then I didn't want it. But I remember they had that dog when I was, so this is going back like eight years ago. Yeah. 
So they've that they've is had that dog for a while. They, Maybe the, they still had the dog; it just didn't post it. No, nah, because it, it, mate, when I'm telling you, her comments were flooded with it. If she still had it, she will reply to it and be like, "The hound's sleeping." Yeah, mm. but also, it, and that, if it's still going on now, that's a long time. To st- like, they're not dropping that. No. They're like, we are not stopping this tweet. Well, that well, that's my account. The, uh, the posted that. <laughs> yeah, <you'll see laughs> so I'm on r slash beauty guru <laughs> because I need to know where the hound is. So yeah, sorry. I just I needed to ask you. I didn't know if there was like a controversy. You've got a dog like that, sausage dog. Yeah, I got sausage sausage dog. dog. Yeah, and so that's why it's very close to me. So 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 I need to to your heart. Yeah, and what I'm thinking is, I might have her hound. Oh my god, it could be my dog. Imagine you've got it. I've got the hound. That would be sick. That would be great. Can you get a picture of the hound, please? Your hound, Martha? No, 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 no. Yeah, you do like a side by side. I need to double check that. I don't have her. Martha and Tanya Burr. Oh, I swear to God, that's bronze. Aww. So cute, man. Did, what, you think that's fair? It is cute. No, like, no, someone's done a YouTube where video about Martha it. Where is Martha Moo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where wait, is, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> where, on that. where is Martha Moo? That's some thumbnail. Oh my God. Click on it. Do you see what I mean? Like, bro, this is a serious thing. Oh my yeah, God. Look what? at this. 16 minutes That's a full long. sat down video. Wait, what is bro doing? Where is Martha? Oh my God, he's invested. It's fair just enough. talking. But do you, I'm telling you, this is a bigger story than I think you guys realize. I, I don't know much about the side of YouTube, so I'm not really aware also, of what's going on, to be honest. I'm just a spectator in this. Someone goes to you, what do you do for a living? You go, oh, I make YouTube videos. And you say, oh, what sort of videos do you make? <laughs> I make, uh, well, I make videos where I, I'm trying to, at the moment I'm doing a series, I'm trying to find out where this missing dog is. <laughs> Here's my latest 16 dog. minute. It's more than that. It's not the, even like an investigation where you're trying to find a genuine missing dog. It's just a conspiracy about YouTuber's dog. <laughs> this is what the fellas mysteries needed to do. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Do it as a, we need mysteries. to come back with where's the hand. Mm. Oh, that would have been good. Um, and then from there, who else we got? Uh, Jim Chapman got kids yeah. doing his thing. Um, we got Marcus in, yeah, DJ in the club. Marcus Casper, DJ, same but old, Marcus's same girlfriend was it? Naomi was part of this group as well. Yeah. Wasn't oh yeah, she? Nimbobs. She's, Nimbobs. She's still a um, she, Instagrammer or something. Yep, yeah, she's. I I see she her every now. To- I see her occasionally at the train station. Oh, I bump into. I bumped into her a couple of weeks ago at the train station. Actually, yeah, she's she's uh, settled down as well. Yeah, who's that? So. I think so. I assume so. Yeah, um, um, Naomi. Smart, yeah, because those two were together. Damn, I'm I'm out of the loop. Here. No, but you, to be fair though, Chip, you weren't really I wasn't around. on it. Like, <laughs> I wasn't. At this like, time. I wasn't around at this time. What were you yeah. doing back in those days? What What year is this? We're going back to 2024 <laughs> now. 20, 2014. 14. Damn, I like just, I would have just been starting, but I was more on the gamer side, so you, I probably wasn't messing around on like done his side. first bag. I would have known about you guys, <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't have like I wouldn't have been watching. I don't think. Yeah, I was more like just it's straight into FIFA and COD, like so dialed in. Yeah, like you won't get me off my fucking Xbox. Were man. you COD four? Yeah, or was that before your time. Yeah, no, it was COD four. That was my first Call of Duty. I that was I, the one. I would die on that hill of like that was still and always will be the best Call of Duty. Yeah, better than Modern Warfare two. I really? can't give you that. It's between I, I, one of them for me. But yeah. yeah, the nostalgia of COD for 4, me. That was the original. You can't beat the one that gets you into it. I it was just simple. The menus I could navigate. <laughs> I understood was, the yeah. menus. Wasn't there was in COD 4? There was what? No. Was it, it was just seven. Oh. It was maxed out at yeah, seven, seven, right? You had yeah. UAV, um, Predator Strike, and yeah. then uh, Helicopter, and that was it. Oh, wow. And it. you had four camos. Yep. Blue Tiger, Red Tiger, no, Digital, Blue Tiger, Red Tiger, mm-hmm. Gold, and that was it. You get the Golden Damn, AK. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The Golden Deagle. Simple. Simple times. Yeah. You need to make another call now, to Nowadays, it's so flooded. Like, you don't even know where to start. I look at the menu and I go, I, I turn it off. So I go, I just don't know how to actually get into a game. It's that complicated. So much shit but Call of Duty has genuinely fallen off though, hasn't it? In terms of like, even just uh, the number of people that play it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, nothing, Which is crazy. nothing can sustain that besides GTA, maybe. <laughs> I started playing this game called Hell Let Loose. Have you ever heard of this? No. No. God, it's a, uh, so it's, it's like a realistic World War II simulator. But it's like you have to communicate, otherwise you're just not going to win. So it's like, it's, and if you shoot someone, be from miles away, but it won't tell you if you kill them or not. So it's meant to be like realistic. Oh yeah. wow! And it's like it's quite like um, like Dark. like sort of like you know people that sort of grew up wishing they could fight in the war but didn't. Like it's it's got quite like a, it's got a very like dedicated community. Here we go. On yeah. The screen now. But it's um. Oh, yeah, you don't get. To but all... I started playing that, and it's. It's it's quite intense. Is this on a console or PC? Yeah, put PC and console. But it's like, but you have to if you want to, 
if you want anything, like if you want, need like ammunition or something, you've got to speak to your squad leader, who's then got to speak to like the commander. So you've got all like, so it's like, I'll be on the blow like, mate, get me some fucking bullets. Uh, yeah. And he's there like, oh mate, I'm waiting to hear back from the, from the top dog. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, we're waiting for a tank still. And they're like, okay, let me speak to the commander again. See if you can get you a tank. We're just sat I'll there. Like, nah, bell him again. No. Bell him again. Yeah. Get, I'm getting we, shot. We had to. Yeah. We're sat here again. <laughs> we need a tank now. But. Yeah, and he's there like, sorry, mate, I'm just heading yeah. down for and my this tea. Gone, this would have been good in lockdown, man. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's good. It's, class, it is quite good. What? I, I, how many? How many people in one team? I think it's like I think you get like something like sixty four people. Oh, oh you got sixty four <laughs> people. Oh, yeah, all right, so hard. imagine you know, okay, so not in one team, but you're, you're the squadron maybe. leader. Yeah. Your phone's getting blown up yeah. with people asking for yeah. help. Bro is coming. Yeah. All right, <laughs> chill the fuck out. But it is. It's a. It's quite. When you first start playing it, it's so frustrating because you run in. You think it's called you. You just kept getting. You just keep getting peppered. Killed. Is, you don't know where you got shot from. But when you start like working as a unit. Yeah, it it does get quite good. Is there any progression to it? Like it, yeah, you know, like where you unlock stuff. And yeah, you unlock like a reward like, system. Of yeah, stuff. yeah, you do. Yeah, but it's um, it's just yeah. quite good. I mean, it does actually look quite. It sounds I am on quite my knee. That, that was the one absolutely amazing thing about lockdown was the fact that you all the boys were on these games. Yeah, do you know what? I I, I wasn't. I play the really? Sim. The I play the do? Sims a lot. Oh, oh you're one yeah, of them. Yeah, I, I know. I went the wrong no. way. I feel like oh, so many people. Could have been with the boys. I know. That's the thing. I, actually, I did play Warzone a bit. Yep. I used to play with um, Syndicate um, every now and then. Yep. But I was so shit at Warzone. I just couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into it. Fortnite I enjoyed. Yep. Couldn't get into... Um, Warzone. Couldn't... I just, I'm just bad at it. I enjoyed it, but I was just bad at it. Yeah. But... It was so... Fun. Like, I genuinely... I mean, we've spoken about it so many times on this pod, but like that... that time of my life like yeah. it was actually so I say to my so some of the other boys the day, I was like I low key won a lockdown yeah because yeah. that time was but I feel like you you boys did it right because you you got to do like all the war zone stuff and have the fun but then you also like built business like a yeah. lot of people like I think a lot of people ever everyone I spoke to in the last sort of like year of how they got into what they're doing they would say well lockdown happened so I decided to get into this and right. now I'm like yeah that's kind of how the podcast started this. Is that, yeah, did it yeah. start before? Yeah. During. Lockdown? Was it? During yeah, right at the end of it. Right, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. agreed to doing it during. We were at a, um an uh, illegal party. Were we? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I was in your ear like, come on, bro, come on, bro, let's do it, let's do it. And then- Chewing your ear off. Yeah. I was, yeah, which is a rare, <laughs> yeah. which is usually the other way around. around yeah. yeah. Uh, and he told me that, like, oh, you know, piss off, piss off. And then he woke up the next day and I, I, I texted him, I was like, bro, you be better, be better be about that. And he was like, okay, I'll do it, but only if we're allowed to build a set. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And I was like, fuck it. This out. is the best set though. Yes. I've ever seen on a good, podcast. Thank you, man. I don't want to get rid of this one. Normally we change every season, but I know, I, yeah. I'm, I'm going to fight for... I don't think we should get rid of it. Unfortunately, I, I, I boys. No, we can't. There's a good one you know around what? the corner. When I watch the podcast, I always, I've always, i always wanted to know what games are on top of that stereo. Yep. I always knew it's FIFA 11, but I couldn't see what the other ones was. Assassin's Creed 2, Call of Duty 2, and Forza Motorsport yeah. 3. Assassin's Creed is amazing. Assassin, yeah. That is what, yeah, that's the really good one as well. Yeah. Assassin's Creed 2. I love that one. We've got uh, back here all these like classic old movies school. though. We've got Star Wars yeah. Squadron over there playing on the Nintendo 64. Love that. It's a fucking great set, man. Guitar Hero. Have you been to NQ64? Yes, and I play Guitar Hero when I go. Yeah. There. Brilliant. We need to go at some point. Place. I was a rock band guy. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All, I love all rock, rock band, band as well. Didn't get it, because Guitar Hero didn't have the drums and I wanted yeah. the drums. Want rock the band had a big DLC selection yes. too. There was thousands of songs you could just buy. £2.50 for a song. Oh, you got to be my girl. Yeah, but you, get, you could get packs or you could buy a song. For one song, £2.50. Yeah. That's mad. You can do it on Steam. That, There's a game on Steam uh, where you can clone hero? use a real guitar Oh. somehow and it plays along and it te it's like playing guitar here but with a real guitar and you're I actually think. learning how to play guitar I downloaded it time. I lasted two seconds and I was like nah it does seem like so, a such a cool thing like oh I'd love to be able to play the guitar you know learn master of puppets and all that but then yeah. it's so fucking, I used fucking to, mad I used to always think I looked so cool playing guitar hero and if I could watch myself now as 16 years old playing guitar hero I'd have been like what I, 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 <laughs> I, I used to because uh, I was playing this when I lived in Egypt and so I, my, here, my boy Tad <laughs> you know, Tad, he used what, to what, roll you've around. Been, you've what been kind all of internet shop? were you rocking out there? Oh, it was so nax. It was it, like I, online games. Was I couldn't really play that. Oh, I dang. couldn't really play online games because of the connection. Or yeah, it was it was yeah. dial up. And forget, it was just really difficult. I forget that you've been all over the shop. Yeah, yeah. Your accent hasn't changed though. 
It's still fucked. Still, yeah. It's still I didn't pick any up here. Oh, I, I feel like you get a window in life. Yeah, I get. You feel like yeah. I feel like you get, you get a window in life where it's like this is where when your accent's gonna be molded. Yeah. And unfortunately, mine was when I was bouncing between schools. I used to do this. I remember I used to do an impression of you back in the day. You're the only one that ever came close. But it was I could only do an impression of you just saying the word like Weller, Oi Weller. That was it. Yeah. Like Oi Weller, Weller, <laughs> Oi Weller. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that that, that I that's like not, that's I've lost now. it? No, you've lost, lost it. it. You've lost, lost it. it. Too much time. I have not. Oh, here's a change. <laughs> no, 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 no. But when, I remember when you did do it. Everyone in the comments was like, "That's the best impression." Because <laughs> you you actually used to do impression videos. I did, yeah. Oh shit! Back in the day, it was, that was so. My, I guess good. like my thing back in the day was like pranks, impressions, and like. You were just like challenges. One of them dons that were just like talented at random shit, like little weird weird things but in a good Liz way though. yeah you do you, you're a quick time. learner as well yeah you play golf i do see chip i do well why are you saying see chip like that i'm like there somewhere no, you're not when was the last time we're, we're probably last on the same level i feel like i'm not nah, great i'm crap I'm, I, I started playing when i was 11 that's you should be good then should be <laughs> but it's sort of like self-taught i've i you I, do your own thing. Ben's right. Yeah, yeah. Man, man. <laughs> Ben's yeah, right. Wait, does it, does your dick actually Ben right? Ben's. Oh no, go left. Uh, or straight down. No, it's quite a straight shooter, I think. Because I've never Mine's met anybody shooter. that Ben's right. I no. can't remember what mine is. I'll check it out later. Yeah, <laughs> I actually know. forgot if he's left or right. It definitely Ben's one way. Oh, mine's yeah. just straight, straight as an arrow. Straight down the. Wow. I'm yeah. jealous, bro. You got a porn dick. <laughs> then how does it? How <laughs> does it? Time, yeah. How is there a is there a reason for it to bend a certain way, or is it just genetic? <laughs> I actually don't know. I was convinced it was just because it like was on the left side of my trousers. I was convinced it's because when you're holding your knob, and you're, you squeeze too hard right. with the fingers, then it starts to bend it. Yeah. To mold. You're molding your cock right. into, with your own technique. <laughs> All right, let, 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 let's go into these things. Life's unanswered questions. Okay, well, we've got number one here. Before, oh. before we had communication technology, how did we share tales? For example, mythical creatures are present across different cultures. Example, dragons were present in both European and Chinese cultures. Fucking postcard, lad. Postcard. <laughs> Postcards, bro. Letters. Oh, uh, have oh, just seen this dragon. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe this, pal. Yeah. I've seen a bird <laughs> with fire coming out its gob. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you've seen one and of then, these madnesses before. And then we we'll draw, 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 draw yeah. a picture on the postcard, but send that off to Oxford University. They've that, got the postcard and then they go, oh, fucking hell, they've got I dragons over there. dragons as the example, but genuinely like... Oh, it's what, guy and his dragons. No, 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 no I don't want, I don't, I'm not going back into that again, We're but I'm saying dragons. how do these stories, like how are they the same across different cultures when no one can communicate? It would nuts. be It'd be a traveling thing. So fucking you Jimmy... Couldn't get, travel to fucking China from like yeah. Sweden, bro. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they did. No, they did. They, they the Vikings when they sailed. Columbus discovered America. No, yeah, but when they sail and, and they're traveling across, they cut, they they bring yeah, stories. What's with the them. first thing you think? Oh yeah, this is like dragons, like yeah, Ragnar Lothbrok in Vikings, this is, right? That's he not goes, doesn't he? he travels across the sea, different countries, yeah. gets to England. Oh fucking hell, it's kicking off here. They were on boats, lad, long boats. He's not a real person, of course, but <laughs> that's how they were getting about. And, then, and, then, he, when, and then, then when they got there, came, they shared yeah. their knowledge. Yeah, and, and it, part of their knowledge yeah. would be like, just so you lot know. Where I've just come from, there's breathing birds. So why did it take so long for them birds. to discover America then? When did they What's that it? got to do with anything? Well, I'm just what saying. Was it, what was <laughs> it? Exactly? If they're going like, across different countries and seas yeah. to like pass on messages of mythology, yeah. surely they would have found America sooner. Do you know how big that ocean is? It's a large ocean, yeah, but yeah. the Pacific's it, also massive as well. It's a little bit well. different as yeah. well when you're sailing without knowing what you're sailing to. You could be sailing for fucking a month, right? And not come across More anything. More than that. You'll be convinced. You'll be, you'll be like, yeah. damn, it's been 30 days. Like, there's got to be nothing. But Hastings so, to fucking Beijing ain't exactly close, is it? Yeah, but you don't need to cross the sea. <laughs> they put it in City Mapper, see how it... See how it yes, how long is this going to take, man? Um... Yeah, well, look, when the people first eventually got to England, they would have come in with some stories and been like, hey, fucking hell, you seen them Chinese? Like, they got dragons. Have you seen that? Who's that <laughs> bloke who, he, he does the round of podcasts and he basically goes through and explains where all these sto orig stories of humanity and stuff come from. And it's all Han like, Hancock. No, oh, well, he's one of them. But That's a good movie. But I get right into those little, like, holes of, like, thinking that, um, oh, I've got his name. He did... Uh, Andrew Schultz podcast 
oh. long ago. But he was saying about like how a lot of the stories that we hear have come from like way, way back mm. of like these other like other world. It gets a bit like far fetched, but yeah. like other worldly like things that have come and just left. Is it not that Hancock world. guy? No, I don't. The think he's talking it, about like he a potential like Egypt world Egypt before. Yeah, he yeah, does all yeah. the yeah. Egypt. Yeah. So it's and not what, him. No, it's not him. It's oh god. What's his name? He did an Andrew Schultz freight flag. Do you want to go? Yeah. Episode. Can you Bi have a quick Bill, look? Say that one more Bill time. Bill Carson. Bill Carson. I think his name is. Not familiar with him. Phil Carson or Bill. I think it's Bill. And Could've and Bill. what he essentially says there was a world. He reckons on this planet. He was says another civilization before. There was another like like someone came from another planet. Yeah. And basically. Um, Created humans in their image and did all, and then basically like left them here to develop. And yeah, that's the guy, Billy Carson. Billy Carson. And I, I was listening hate to that, that idea, and I was like, I was like, it is interesting. I, like, I, I love like getting down those little like wormholes of like, yeah, imagine what if. What about what about aliens? Um, you got you got a theory on them? I don't. I don't know. I see. I know that you 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 you're deep in it, aren't you? Yeah. Um, one day we'll know. I, I I believe that we can't be the only ones. I think there's definitely there's a guy recently who's just discovered potential life on another planet. They'll be seeing he's, that. He's on the oh, news. It happens all the time though. He never gets verified. Like the guy from fucking Harvard that discovered interstellar rocks at the bottom of the ocean and I tested him. What's his name? Yeah, Avi Loeb or something. I saw Avi that recently, Loeb. and so everyone's now there? switched Sorry. up and saying, "Oh, they're actually in the ocean." Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the big theories is because the ocean is, it'd be the perfect place to hide, really. Yeah. Yeah. Just oh, they think there's there. something yeah. in our ocean. That's yeah. what I think. Really? You yeah. think that? Yeah, I, I, I fully believe really? that if there is aliens, then uh, yeah. they're down. Didn't NASA yeah. start originally to yes. discover the ocean and then they switched up and went to space? And, and they say- I reckon like, they found something and said, I'm not fucking around with that. Yeah. Yeah. There was a there was a really good thing that we read once on the podcast where it was um kind of like a story that the guy posted on 4chan, which is obviously <laughs> where all <laughs> truth lives. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. truth lives. But it was a great story because it was so in depth and detailed, and and it was like one of those things where it was like, oh, it could be true. And he essentially says there's aliens at the bottom of the ocean, and they can't really get close to them because any time they come too close, you just get you know obliterated. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, they just. So do you reckon the, the the submarine got a bit too close then? No, no that, that, that was just controlled oh, by Logitech. Um, bro, so. Ocean Gate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, rest God. in peace. What was the name of that thing? Ocean Titan. Gate. Titan. Titan. Yeah. Was it was Titan? Titan? No. I don't the really... little GameCube controller. No, 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 no the, no, the name, submersible. The name of the submersible. Yeah, it was called Ocean Gate something, wasn't it? Ocean Gate. Yeah. Ocean Gate was the company, and then yeah, I, was I feel Titan. like all... I've got a. Type I've got in. a theory that like Titan. yeah, I've got a theory that like the earth is like a lava lamp so like we're on dry land now but eventually something's going to happen and it's going to go and it completely switch so all the bottom of the ocean will come to the surface and all the stuff on the surface will go to the bottom of the ocean just like a little switch or the magnets switch around or whatever well that's essentially we were underwater at some point like all this stuff was underwater at some point so yeah. that would make sense that will, would be crazy. Will we die in that theory? <laughs> Do we yes, die in that we're theory? Gone. We're all gone. But surely on the way past, you could like catch on. <laughs> yeah. Like, Just and, switch it up. And head up. Yeah. Um, that would be... That would be nuts. I watched was nuts. You might have seen this on Netflix. It was, um, it's called The Other Shore. It's a documentary about a woman whose life mission was to swim from Florida to Cuba. And she essentially was like an extreme swimmer for age like 20 to 40, retired, became like a public TED speaker and stuff like that. And then age like 50, 60 or something, she was like, right, I'm going to go and do it again. And she attempted like four times to try and swim 100 miles or whatever it was. It's just a nuts story. Because she yeah, was like I've being stung this. by a Portuguese man of war yeah. and it was paralyzing her while swimming. Swimming and it really? fucked. I've yeah. seen that, yeah. yeah. Well, then Portuguese well, Man of War are really yeah. about it. Man of War, bro, sounds like a fucking cod perk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's a cold name for a jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he definitely, he's up. Yeah, Did you lot sure. see this as well? What? Have a watch of this. Oh, inertia. So this woman, yeah. ooh, she was doing a high dive on a cruise ship and the yeah. cruise ship was moving and a lot of people are getting at her in the comments or not at her, but at the law of physics, why she uh, doesn't move. So we've spoken about this briefly before, if you remember. Audio listeners. This oh, what? So it. they're saying because... Just wait. You can see the boat's moving. Yeah. Just wait for this. She's getting her dive ready. I've got anxiety watching. Cruise ship's yeah. freaking me out. And she just stays dead straight. Even though she's on a moving... 
cruise yeah, ship. Yeah, but it's because when she's attached to it, she's moving at the same speed as the cruise ship. Right? Yeah, it's the it's same not, way. It's, it's not, the same way like if you jumps, jump up yeah. in a plane. Yeah. You don't yeah. fly to the back. No. <laughs> yes. It's not like she just but jumps up and suddenly. So if she, if, if she was, if she, it, so what you could mm. say is like the wind resistance of her going at that speed and pushing her back could potentially move her, but because she's yeah. not in the air for long enough. Yeah. There's too little of the time. So she'll move a little bit. Yeah. But not enough. And, and cool. there's um, there's a, the rest of the cruise ship will be blocking the wind. She's yeah, like, like she is in like a surrounded thing. But yeah, she's not in if, open. If air. you think about it though, if you take the science away from it, it's nuts to think that that can happen. But it's called the the law of inertia. Is that like where planes look? They're sort of stuck in the air and not moving. So that's because you're going at the same speed as them. The yeah. exact thing is, it states every object will remain at the the rest or in uniform motion in a straight line and, unless compelled to change its state. So essentially. If yeah. something's, and she wasn't being forced. Yeah. Well, she she's she because she's attached to the cruise ship. She's going at the same speed. But she at that point isn't attached to the cruise ship though. She is. She's in the air. Oh no! So that's, that's what people so that's are what I'm saying. About. So the moment she goes in the air though, you got to remember she's still actually traveling at that speed. Yeah. The moment she stops traveling at that speed is actually on her way down. But it's uh, the only thing that's going to be affecting it is the wind resistance. But because it, it there's not that much because she's covered by quite a lot of other stuff, she's not going to move that much. But let me tell you, I wouldn't want to fucking do that job. No. Because that would just play on my mind way too much. Like what? Just jumping into a pool? Get a fucking hell! Come on. <laughs> so you're my science capabilities there eh? I just yeah. thought about a gas taps yeah I'd miss and the pool for sure. for sure I'd miss the pool <laughs> just end up like a fucking pancake on the side <laughs> we got any other bits here oh wait what's this next one how far east can you travel before you start traveling west there's one for you um nah the whole I don't way think you can you can just keep going east no why not no because then you're traveling west because also, isn't our map that we look at different to the rest of the world? Like, if you're if you're from like China, so, you have yeah. a different map that you look at. Yeah, no. So I feel like our maps, Britain's always like sort of central. Uh, yeah, but America's on the left. Um, yeah, and the Americans always look at the map with with them on the left. So probably they, what you're though? saying is they must do. If Actually, I got no one compass, knows fucking self-centered bastards. If I got a compass out and I start traveling east. Yeah, and I don't stop until I get back around to where I was. At some point, is that compass going to say? You're I'm going technically west? traveling west, aren't you? Because no. you're heading back west. No, no I'm yeah. just going yeah, around. Yeah, you are though. Am you're... I? Prod, you're going to get fried again. Am I? What's I don't know. Here? I'm trying to. I want to hear you out. So yeah. if you if you keep traveling east, yes, you're yes. eventually going to come back to yourself. So at one point, you're then again traveling west. Can you no. going to pass a certain point? Nope. Yes, you are. Nope. Yeah. If How? it's done off, if it's no, done no, off no. lines, <laughs> oh, that is a bit of a melter. You're melting my head, but I'm certain no, no. that your compass and, and will you can, always show east. I, I, I don't understand. I, I'm not even like remotely following what you're trying to say here, because yeah. to me, the moment I'm here, I go east. I'm going east forever. I can go still around the world. East. I can come around. I'm still going east. I'm still going east. I'm still going. Where the hell's the west? There is no point on the earth where you hit a point where it goes, oh, now, you, now you're facing west. So east, turn around. East, and west uh, east and west is made up then? Well, yeah, no. essentially. It's just a name for a direction. So every direction's the same. No, because you, you talk. No, <laughs> oh, you actually, I, I don't know what's going on. No, no, what I've realized is you don't actually know what this. I what think you're this just getting a little. You go for a little. Uh, nah, now honestly though, but if you are traveling tricky. so far east, there becomes a point where you then are traveling west. Surely, no. I think it's because we what? associate like America as the west. Yes. So that like, you keep going east. So if you go east, like past China I and think, Russia. Yeah. You're then heading towards America, which is the West, which we associate as the West, but it's still you're still traveling. So you, you, you've yeah. used uh, people, west. yeah. You've used the term the, the West yeah. as a destination, so that when you get there, you go, well, "I'm, I'm." How did I get to the West by traveling East? I think is that what you're trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. I'm yeah, asking no, a question. I don't think you, I don't think you get it. I don't think you were thinking of like a compass. No, I get it. I get it completely. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm trying to ask you the question. Get you to use your brain a bit. <laughs> I hate this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't yeah, want to use I, my I brain. I think Proddy's, Proddy, Proddy might get fried on this one, unfortunately. Do you have a number five? Does it look like there's number five? <laughs> I fucking hope so. <laughs> Zero. Okay. No, um, well, there I'm is glad no we, more. There is no more. Um, so we ask everybody at the end of all of our podcasts for a motivational quote. No, you don't. 
Yeah, we do. I watch real podcasts. Yeah, hey, we do. <laughs> Chip, we always get Every a motivational quote. Yes. Clearly not. It's Clearly right. we've got it's a fraud. So rare, and it's right. At the end. <laughs> you barely do it, bro. What in the Stephen Bartlett is this? Yeah, we need a motivational quote. <laughs> Cry so, now. <laughs> Should I write in the book? Write in the comic book. So last time, okay. Chip said, um, "Never." What was it? Um, never suck a horse dry. <laughs> is that what you said? I like that one. <laughs> That's crazy. No, nah, you did. You said something That's like crazy. that. That's crazy. No, I said the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. Oh, that was it. That, that is it actually is. a really good yeah. line, you know. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Right, I had a good one. You got one for me. The results will come. No. What um what one did I have what did I have recently? Um oh, never punch a cyclist. <laughs> Do you know? What? Do you know what that means? No. Uh, like, never take someone down on their journey. I oh, really support them. Okay. Yeah. Never punch a cyclist. What was the other one? That's that such <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> now nah, the other. The what was the other one? Um, what if they're in like full light crow, like the proper nah, cyclist? You've come up with a good one. That was never feed a horse milk. Yeah. That never feed it. a horse milk. That was one of mine. Yo. You, you know what? You, you want me to explain that to you? Okay. Quickly. Feed a horse milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think that one means? You no, never feed a horse milk. What, what, what do you think that saying means? I don't know means? what that means. Do I? Because it's probably its own milk. No, no, no. You never feed a horse horses milk. Horses don't have milk, mate. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, no. But it's not that. It is. Never feed a horse milk is all about make sure you are taking the right nutrients for you. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Brother. <laughs> what was yours, Chip? Um, oh, what was it? Don't be upset about the results you didn't get from the work you didn't put in. I like that. I like That's that. very GCSE. Yeah. That is is really I, saw, I saw it. You know what I saw it? IG Reels on the gold cart in TikTok. I was like, yeah, that's fucking me. Um, There's more got? to it. I just forgot it. Have you had the pissing in the wind? Never piss in the wind? Don't piss into the wind? Always piss okay, in the wind. Okay, yeah. Because it comes back all over you. Ah. Uh, Don't piss into the wind. Nice. The that's kind of, That's kind of like, don't shit where you eat. Don't shit yeah. in the woods. <laughs> don't, shit, don't shit in the woods. Why not? Is it not don't shit in the woods? Because the bears are there. Yeah, I heard no that. bears don't bears shit in the woods. Yeah, did the tree fall? If you didn't see it fall, <laughs> take that one on with you. You're thinking of periods, bears. I, I got one I've seen in a movie. Hold up. They can smell the blood. I got one. It was uh, never frame a picture. <laughs> Do you know what that means? <laughs> no. So it, it just means like let a moment be the moment. And oh. don't try and relive the moment, you know? Okay. So just let a picture be a picture. I it? thought it was something related to the picture of you. Uh, no, 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 no. The way you could, you could reframe that one and oh, say, um, class. it's like never be proud of anything. Just do it and move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just crack uh, on. My dad always just tell me, don't drink my Coke before I eat my meal. Because <laughs> I would never eat the meal then. Oh, I, I got that one. Don't, yeah, don't drink before a meal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Fuck, I had a good one, but I can't remember what it, it's gone. Did did you ever? <laughs> did you guys know the? Uh, <laughs> yeah, let this one cook. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the voices in his head. What's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got one. Uh, <laughs> Let's cook. The Stanley likes that one. <laughs> um, never wear ankle socks. Yeah, that's a fact. You, you, no, no, no. That's not <laughs> yeah. a fact. That's a saying. It's uh, like, don't try and do things a short way. Yeah. You know, like that, that. Always. Little Kevin Hartbeat. Yeah. Always do it the way it's supposed to be done. Long socks. <laughs> what do you mean? Like the little... Little ankle socks. Yeah. The ones that go here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like never take the short way. You know, always... Always, always do it the full, If you learn... If you get tired, <laughs> learn to rest, not quit. Hey. I like that one. Yeah. That's a I good one. I like that. I like the sort of... Ruder, what like the vulgar ones that still have oh, a good meaning? Go on, oh, like, go on it. then, yeah, drop a little. I'm trying, I had, I had a good one, but I can't remember what it is. Um, search like search. What are they called? Wisdoms. Yeah, wisdom. Naughty wisdoms. Daily wisdoms. Vulgar wisdoms. Vulgar. He he wants the wants the, yeah, the vulgar, bro. The filthy ones. The eighteen Daily pluses. Vulgar wisdoms. Here we go. This is gonna be crazy. Oh, uh, if you aren't the lead proverb. dog, the scenery rude never crude. changes. <laughs> rude and crude what was proverbs. That? You can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Well, you know. 13 crazy, dirty, modern proverbs. Mm. Close your eyes and think of England. What? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. King Henry was... Um, 
Was there life is a, a life is a shit sandwich. The more bread you have, the less shit you eat. Damn, that's that's, that's a Stanley dog. special. That the scenery never changes. If uh, you if you got them by the balls, their heart and mind will follow. <laughs> oh, that's, so that's, next level level that's a good one. <laughs> That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I'm all over. I'm, I'm going to stick to my sowing the fruit. Yeah, I'm going to stick to my... Um, Seeding the fruit. That's my bar. That'll go with me for life. Oh, I like that. Never wrestle a pig. You'll both get dirty and the pig likes it. Ooh. You're playing into someone's... Yeah, that's someone's what we did when he was doing that whole East is West. We were wrestling yeah. with the pig. Yeah. yeah <laughs> the we little were. fucking piggy you over know, there. You know what was piggy he, in Lord of the Flies when we did it at school? Yeah. Little yeah. fat kid. <laughs> yeah <laughs> look at you now though shining <laughs> yeah. still fat <laughs> so look at now you know what you know I, had my, arms I had the fucking what have we just said <laughs> Wait. he thought you were talking about yourself about pi being I piggy I played piggy at school yeah, yeah he oh, was. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about wait yeah. so what, what did you have to like bowl around with a little pig nose on do you not know <laughs> who piggy is yeah yeah in yeah, Lord of the Flies yeah he's not an actual no, pig no no I know but like in order to represent that they, they whack <laughs> no, you no I was just fat bro <laughs> little curly tail really so they straight up I just was like, just mad fat at school yeah so so you just got the role so I just typecasted yeah <laughs> just like I read that <laughs> I be, imagine being the drama person like who's gonna play piggy <laughs> ah, you know <laughs> you, no, wouldn't even need nuts, to, you wouldn't even need to fucking ask. The, so my, drama, is. Oink, oink. <laughs> my drama teacher's like son was there for one of the rehearsals. And this <laughs> geezer, this little fucking shit was like four years younger than me. He was a small kid. And he just said, oh yeah, my mum said you got the part because you're fat. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, you know, you that's true fuck. as well. No, he should have sparked his mum out. Oh no. Scrap to Pepper. All right, look, we're, we're going to wrap it up there because um, the weather's unbelievable and the pub's got my name right now. Yeah, on. Joel Sugathy. Thank you. This oh, has pleasure. been a classic. Been a no, it's been a you know what? It's made my day that you were actually a fella's fan. I, I remember am. you told me you'd watched an episode before, but I didn't yep. realize you were watching every episode. I'm on now the brink of getting fellas loaded. Oh, oh. Make, the make, make, make the jump, brother. Yeah. It's, it's worth I've it. I've heard it's good. I've you heard it's good. You will like it over there. It's good. It's good time. Natural promo. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I love what a that. Hero. <laughs> <laughs> Here we Anyways, go. Anyways, guys, look, uh, of course, uh, if you are watching this, you could have watched it a day earlier and ad free over on Fellas Loaded. Yep. Um, but uh, if not, then it's on Spotify. It's on Apple. Give us uh, some nice ratings. Uh, Joe, where should we send people to? You got a thatching what, what, business? What, what, like, what is what it? They keeping an eye on. Yeah. What? Uh, like you, the oh, wait, no. You've, you've got a podcast. Oh, I mean, yeah, sort of. Well, it's, no, we've got podcast listeners here. They I'm, should check out you yeah. and Casper. I mean, Casper's quite difficult to listen to, but you're good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, do you know what? It's actually Casper spearheading it. We, uh, we've, me and Casper have got like a little podcast that we're we're doing trialing, a trialing. Kind of, yeah, it's very much a trial and error, <laughs> test and see how it works. So it goes for my channel. Yep. We're trying to work out how to get it onto Spotify and stuff. We're getting there. <laughs> I'm gonna pick your brains off. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> yeah, just whack um, it on audio. You'd yeah, it's it's over on the Thatch Joe Vlogs channel, which mm -hmm. is where I upload my vlogs as well. Amazing. There you go. TikTok, there you go, ladies and Instagram. Gentlemen. It's all there. Yeah, you got your vlogs. Yeah. Um, sick. Uh, Amazing. Gamer tag is. <laughs> What was, what was it? CND monoxide. monoxide. Yeah. Me. Check that out. Add up the clan. <laughs> Gaze capitals, all that. Business. You know the vibes. Um, all right, guys. We'll catch you all later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.